Welcome everyone, another extremely special GG Millions today, massive prize pool, it is season 2024, the GG Millions, this is episode 47, I got the man, the myth, the absolute legend, Mike Mattisso in the building, Mike, how are you? What's up buddy, how you doing man? I'm, I'm doing well, I'm, I'm thrilled to see you here, this is a big show, we might as well have a, a massive guest as having you on, you can see the total live earnings there, if you don't know Mike, of course. You do if you watch poker, know about poker. So honored to have you here today, my friend. We are playing for a really special prize pool today. $1,588,000 to first and some massive names. I think the most winningest player, Artur Mortarizian, who has a eight title GG million resume, going for that $11 million prize pool today. You can see there, guaranteed 200,000. Everyone involved and all the way up. Top three getting roughly a million nine forty-five for third. You can see a lot to play for. No, no deal making. Nine out of one thousand one hundred seventeen in the event. Ten thousand dollar buy-in from Sunday. That this is actually special. There's several flights and days, and you can see Andrew Wilson with a very nice lead. hundred and forty-two bigs, Mike. That is a wild lead. All the way down to nine big blinds, and hopefully, you know, we can get to see a big stack leverage himself and put a lot of pressure on some of these shorter stacks we'll talk about that we're going to have ourselves a winner today and we're going to get to get to see some special play and there he goes andrew wilson under the gun a2 shout out to ann arbor michigan a2 in the building right there gonna raise it up with the chip lead of course suited ace nine-handed not afraid mike talk me talk me through this with that big of a lead what do you expect to see from andrew uh he's going to be raising a lot of pots I mean, if I had just st chip stack compared to everyone else, I mean, I'm going to be opening 80, 90 percent as much as a nit that people think I am. That's because I never have chips. But if I have chips, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be opening. Well, uh, you can see that the pay jumps are significant. It looks 000. like we're going to have a, a big pot right here. Ace King under the gun plus one suited and uh, Lisa Flowers, 17 million on the button with Ace King. Yeah, I mean, this is a, we got the Brazilian. We got one part of Dominguez who has won a GG million title before, also has 17 million in earnings. And uh, interesting fact, Arthur Mortarizian has eight titles. He also has $36 million in GG poker winnings alone. And that Lisa is the total. Lisa to this call here on the button. Very interesting with a somewhat short stack. Yeah, the, the ICM is massive, right? This is a spot where literally their stacks are so valuable because they're, they're some of the bigger stacks. Other stacks are shorter. So he's not trapping. I think he's just more pot controlling and getting a gotcha. spot now where, where he is going to be going to kind of dictate. He actually covers one as well, and he's going to come out betting. And if you're one part of the Mingus, this is not the best spot ever. You, of course, beat no. a fair amount of hands, but I would expect just a call here. Yeah, I might not even call without the club. I mean... It's an interesting spot because it looks like it looks like she has possibly a, a, a middle pair. For sure. He, he's her. he's doing well against Ace Jack, Ace Queen, all the suited broadways. He is losing right. to the pairs. But, you know, I think that this is now, of course, the, the chop pot. If it is able to get the showdown, it'll be interesting if Liz Flower takes a shot here. I I, put I, I, I think I, I definitely think uh, they elected to check back. Interesting. Yeah, again, their stacks are super, super valuable. You got D. Smilovich as well, one of the most uh, accomplished online players playing the high stakes live. Sergio Adu, got to mention too. No stranger has been a guest on the show as well and great player. So we got a lot of a lot of known names here. And Andrew Wilson with the 42 million, just super impressive stack. See how he's going to go ahead and, and, and maneuver here as, oh, we got to do red or black, Mike. You choose the next flop, red or black. Okay, I'll go red. Go red. We're going to be playing for a dinner. We get the audience involved for a giveaway as well. Get the tweet out there. And there we go. Check, check. No no blood yeah. on that pot. I think Juan did well. Get the showdown out we of got, uh, there. Is there a big blind ante in here or is it just a, a just a regular ante? It's regular ante. Good question. Okay. That does make a difference. You can see 315 in the middle. Everyone putting up chips every hand. Online, of so, course, uh, it's, you got, it makes let's more see. sense. We got... Uh, so they're about they're pretty these stacks are pretty deep actually right i mean the uh 17 million is what uh 20 50 big blinds no yeah yeah so i mean there's there is a lot of play i mean even arthur with 7.2 right 300k big blind has over 20 big so there is 
there is a fair amount of play and the shorter stacks. I mean, look at the deuces here, short and thinking about it. I would, I wouldn't love this spot, right? There's people no, behind. No, it's a fold. It's a fold. Yeah, Anything but a fold is the wrong play. Yep. Yep. He's thinking this about should just get, this should get play. through here. And Liz going to be timing out. It looks like a disconnect, trying to reconnect. Not the time you want to disconnect, Mike, playing for $1.5 million off of I'm sorry, line. but I would have a backup, a backup to the backup. Uh, even back in the old days when I used to play online poker, I had a, um, a uh, we had the back, I had a backup to the backup. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is definitely, you can see, not he some He might call here with 7-6 suited with his chip position, don't you think? You know, he could three bet it too. He could three yeah. bet, he could flat. I think three, I like, I, I do like the call. I think that yeah, again, he's too. got to put a lot of pressure on. He doesn't want to get blown off it if he's going to play. So I think that's the most logical. Yeah. And we got a, we got a red flop, Mikey, I did, believe all red. Did actually. I win? Yes, we you did. did. You did say red. So you can take the first pick or second and third. Uh, I'll take the first. This, this was a big, this was a big flip to win. So, all right, you got Andrew. I, I take it unless you have a fan of uh, somehow you're, you're going to pay down for Arthur or someone, but uh, you got, you got Andrew safe to say. Okay, good. You, that's your choice. though. I'm going to, I'm not going to put words in your mouth. Do you want to have the chip leader? I assume with first pick. Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. You got that. I'm going to go with. Juan Pardo Dominguez and Liz Flower. I'll take I'll take the chips. So that's 17 okay. and 15. Yep. Now it's so this, could be a, this could be a, a trouble here for uh, a chip leader with a seven of spades against a small stack. Yeah, I, mean, I would small imagine. Small stack raising here means it usually has a big hand. I, I think I would fold the a seven of spades, but that's I'm old school. Uh, somebody with this many stack here might my, my three bet. I think uh, he's. But, Gonna three bet just because like the, the ICM is so crazy these stacks that he's gonna he could throw out small three bet yeah. oh well he goes all in so he yeah. puts it all in and Ilya is not gonna believe the eyes gonna have aces versus a seven a massive favorite to double up on Ken no guarantees ooh a nice. little sweat yeah, eight or four no. or nine there's the no ace. sweat oh, anymore. Is, no sweat, 11 million. Big moment there for everyone in the tournament. That is not what you want to see. You want to get the pay jump. You want to see the chip leader uh, suck up chips. Now it sort of evens out things a little bit. And Ilya, dangerous player, has had some pedigree in the GG Millions, has got himself and, 11 and million. I, and I want, to, I want to comment on my old school thinking here, okay, is when I see somebody who's the short stack open from mid position, into all these people, knowing how big the ICM jumps are. That's a real hand. And a chip leader, it, because of the new dynamics, there's like, I'm going to put pressure on the smaller stacks, doesn't, went, goes right over his head, like, okay, I'm going to move in here. He can't really call me because of the difference in, 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 in the chip position. And my thought process right away is somebody at that small stack opens mid range mid middle position i i haven't took that as massive strength so yeah i think uh i mean again there's 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 merit to both sides of course he doesn't have to have aces he could have some hands like ace jack where he's not gonna want to call it off he could have ace queen he could have king queen suited where he's gonna have a he's even behind and then have a decision but i agree andrew i think that andrew king here andrew Nobody andrew definitely didn't have to play it that way. He could also three bet small and then fold. Uh, he could have done a couple different things. Yeah. But again, he's thirty. He's thirty three percent, basically thirty something percent against everything but aces. You know, even against ace king, Correct. against kings. So it's it's not the craziest time to yeah. take a, a move. And he's still got a huge huge lead on everyone. But again, it's uh, all right. We're middle. We're middle of our picks. It's your pick now, Mike. Yeah, I just selected uh, one and this. Okay, I'm gonna go with the person that just tripled up. That's my next pick. Ilya. Yes. Okay. I will take Arthur Mortarizian with seven mil. Okay. Uh, uh, Sergio Aldo. Did you already pick him? No. Nope, I have not. That was going to be my, ne my next pick. So that's a okay. nice pick for you. Great player. Also been on the, the show. And he, so you got Sergio. I will take... Uh, I'm going to go with D call there. I think it's the, he is rocking. 
Uh oh. Flag of Belarus. Move all in for two million. Lisa has to call here, right? Seven bigs, ace nine, no button raise. Yep. yep. Going to call. We are going to see five. Ace nine ahead from Brazil. Big moment for everyone involved. And a big flop for Jack Ten suited. Got the pair. Oh, nine. Wow. Burr. The nine comes in. Needs a ten or a queen or is oh going to be doubling up. And that is a massive, massive swing there for everyone. And APAP, that is an oh, my God. That is a GG. Goodbye. Good game. 200,000 to go home with, though. Brazil gets stronger. 20 million now. It's tightening up with Andrew, and that is eight handed. So, all right, Mike, your pick. I got Decal from, uh, is that Montenegro? Is that right what I said? Or Bel Belarus? I'm sorry. Belarus. Well, how many? There's only like one left, right? Uh, there is. That is right. There is. You are you are in there with D. Smilovic, who is a, a world class player. World, world All class. Right. So that's nice for you. All right. We got ourselves a nice dinner wager. Audience, we got a $50 tweet. I will get the link out for you. That will be on my Jeff Girls Poker Twitter. And you guys will be playing for a $50 or $100 GG ticket based on if my players win, it'll be 100 If one of Mike's win, $50 ticket. So that is what you guys are sweating at home. And we're going to see Arthur Cook here with 6.5 million small blind, big blind here against the chip leader. Interesting how he's going to proceed in this spot. All in. No messing around, Mike. You yeah, know Amir uh, Vahidi. You know that saying. In order yeah, to you know. Live, you must be I saw it, but, but Ilya with 12 million. I was a little shocked didn't open the queen eight of diamonds in the cutoff there. I mean, I, I, I play pretty tight. I think uh, I think it had a lot to do with the chip leader being the, the that always defends, and I think that's why he folded. Yeah, uh, we have yeah, definitely – Definitely a lot of things to consider. That's what's so cool. We mentioned about tournament poker. It's always sort of different spots, different hands, different positions, different game plans, different styles, different payouts. Are you going for ICM? Are you trying to win? What's yeah, your strategy? Yeah, I'm not an ICM believer. I, I show up at a poker tournament. I don't give a shit about the payouts. I just go to – I'm there to win. Um, I, on, this honest to God, truthful story. Until a year ago, I had no idea what fucking ICM was, uh, nor did I care. Uh, and then I found out what it meant and I'm just like, but, but, but there's a, there's a, there's a, also a bad, a good news, bad news to that one. So I learned what ICM was about a year and a half ago. And when I was sitting at the horse tournament, Josh Aria was running it over, uh, the 25 K horse of the world series this year. And I, and I'm looking, I'm like, he's got all the chips. I've got like three big bets. And I turned my head like that. And I started looking at the payouts and I said, well, shit, I got to move up to at least fifth. That's an extra 76K. And, I'm, and, I, and I don't know. I think it might have cost me the tournament because I've never, ever looked over to see what payouts are. I always play to win. Well, I mean, look, good and bad. Again, that's why it's so, so interesting because it's always a – it's Interesting always spot a, here. Ace 10. I think Ace Jack of Clubs is probably going to jam with that stack, don't you think? Yeah. You saw that was a huge uh, play there. Um, that was that was massive there. That that it was an open from Juan Pardo Dominguez. He got three bet by by Arthur, and he shoved nines. Not all players are going to do that. Some are going to flat. I, some I, might fold. He he got ace queen. I, I literally fold. missed that. Shit goes fast. Yes. I got to keep up. Big hand last hand. Juan setting the tone. And here now, Arthur with like sort of a, a he knows how close mm -hmm. it is. I mean, this is for so many of his chips. He I realizes think it's a fold. He flip I, I, I'd be shocked to be calls here. This is really, really, he, he's got a small stack. He, he cannot be weak here. There's no way with his small stack that he's jamming here against, because the small, small, because a 5 million stack opening here, it's just, it shows a lot of strength. And you're yeah, he's back just, against. He's got a lot of history with this player. I know the first Yeah, sure. that's the only a lot. thing. And but even then, just I see if yeah, he sees he king suited or pocket eights, it's like you don't love it. So a nice, yeah. nice play like by Smilovic and nice fold Definitely there. Like the fold. Pretty tight. Smilovic and Martirizian yeah. are the two shortest stacks. This player here also with the nines spot with here nines. under the gun with eights under the gun plus one. I presume the nines is going to open. I don't know. I think the eights will probably fold if the nines open. I think yeah. eights is probably a fold here. Yeah, extent. also the implied odds not there, right? Twenty one million, seven million yeah. is just to set mine or to, to call. You got other people behind. Yeah, King Queen off and there's a small blind should be a fold here against the stack.
Yeah, that's a yeah. nice open, and, and this is one part. Oh, against under the gun, I think you're going to yeah. respect is the there, stack opening. This is interesting to me because I don't watch a lot of poker tournaments with cold cards and stuff, and, I, and I'm and i kind of like think oh, he, he did go with the small three bet, which is also not a bad play against that stack size. That was going to be my next choice. It's never a call. I was going to say three bet, small, or fold. Yeah, we did see Andrew flat six seven suited versus the big stack, but it was in the small blind. It's a little, it's different spot, different situation here. He can leverage his stack. He's I, I don't think I don't think nines can call here. I think it's just a fold. We did, yeah. It's going to be. I mean, look, this is a great bet. Like you're just this is yeah. two shorter stacks. Look at the payouts. We're down to yeah. Eight, that, that, that's guaranteed. where I made a mistake when I said I think it's a fold, but then I I realized when you got eighteen million to six million. Uh, now he's picked up ace queen against ace king. This is could be a disaster. Really not a fun spot. You're against a big stack who's going to be a little wider here. This is actually a great Correct. spot for Liz to open wide. You ever because... just flat here? You ever just flat here in the, to an under the gun? With the... Yeah, I mean, I think that makes a lot of sense. It's just that it's... Yeah, he did. Just... He flatted. I, I like the flat. Wow, Lisa flopped the monster. Should go bed end of story. Game over. I like the flat a lot. I I, I, I definitely would have. That's how I would have played it. Such a big flop for Lisa, but see how big she goes. Probably third pot, I would think. Maybe smaller. No, I, I think a third without the pair. Well, it wasn't even smaller. A 20, 25 percent pot. That's about right. Yeah, this is uh, this is this, good news this, that decal is probably going to be able to get away for from a big. big, for, yeah, big he's going to lose minimum. I like the way he played the hand. I think it's the right play. That's how I would have played it. Yeah, it feels bad. It just feels like you're getting taken advantage of. You're going to get bluffed there a lot, but yeah. in, in the moment, you know, he's still got six million. He's through the blinds. Sergio with the ace queen of spades under the gun plus two should be opening here. King queen will be folding. This hand should be over. Yeah, you know, on that king queen nines hand, I, I I didn't realize it's the the chip dynamic. The chip dynamic, I I I I definitely would three bet the king queen because if you get four bet, it's just an easy fold, and and you don't want to get married to the hand. And we we do see some mixed school of thought here. This is one where some players, depending, they might even put a three bet in just sort of as a bluff instead of calling and being dominant. Mm -hmm. So he does go with that option. It's not going to work out. Very likely again, though. If you're Sergio, again, look at here, here we step. go. Look wow. at this. Yeah, he, he nah. yeah, not gonna work out too much hand to give up. Sergio just snap rips it in, yeah, against the Brazilian. As we see again, a Brazilian at the final table, Austrian at the final table. It seems to be a theme on the GG millions, and this is in the biggest event, the biggest 10k. This is what we see today, as it is a massive, massive event with the big payouts. As a nice pickup there wow. for Sergio back, to Arthur's Germany. gonna defend here with the king nine of hearts, don't you think? Yep. Yep. He will defend and he is going to get out flopped. Although King nine does have a relevant yeah. card. King nine has a lot of different things they can do here, but I don't, I don't think it's, I think it's going to probably just gonna be a fold. Yeah. I think Andrew's debating to better just check back. He'll probably, he does actually check back and that's a quite a welcoming card for him. Makes it. I, I like Arthur to check hits. back. I like yeah. to check back a lot. <clears throat> Yeah, Arthur does pair the nine. Yeah, but he's going to check it. This, I, there's no way he's going to go. Well, he's got the king. I, I think he's going to check it. it. The check back was really nice because now, you know, this is interesting. He checked it. Yeah, that's what I thought he would do. This is going to be a bit peculiar for Arthur. He could check gonna... it back. He, he goes for a really super small size, yeah. I think Arthur's going to have a little bit of a hard time believing he has a 10 because he thinks probably most 10x he would yeah. bet on the flop. Well, he folded. But, but he does get out of the way and, again, avoids avoids well, a problem. He's got very, 4 million. He's short, but he is still in. Very well played by both both players. Exactly the way I would have played it. Queen three suited here. And tough spot again. You're blind on blind, limping. You know you're going to get abused a lot. You are also realizing that you don't want to just be holding, but shoving's too much. And Andrew could certainly pour this one. Does he really? Does he? If he shoves, does he call with the king eight? That's the thing. He liked the limp. I like the limp. 
Yeah, Arthur wouldn't call the shove, but now both players with a gut shot. King High actually in the lead. I like this lead a lot. Yeah, he's, he's limped got... and led. The guy checked mm -hmm. back. He doesn't show like he's got any any real Broadway cards in his hand. Now he gets called upon. Now it's a tough spot. He might have to check. But he, or he could move in and just go for it. I don't know. I mean, it's 1.4 in the middle. I think he he's debating to get a 10x to fold or jack. He kind of realizes getting called. Probably doesn't have any ace x. Would just shove priest. So it's Correct. sort of like a 10x jack x, maybe a yeah. king, king x, he, he, weak king x. And he is gonna check. And now, he's yeah, deciding to go for it or not. Uh, I think he's gonna have to. With a check shows so much a lot of weakness. But there's a lot of trapping in today. They, so he just checked back. I like it. Yeah, Archer now, queen high. Can he get, when he gets called on the flop, other than eight, nine, even queen nine beats him. So there's really no hands he can think he's good against here. He's against like yeah, a Yeah, I don't think, I think Arthur's going to give it up here. Super but, dicey spot. Or does he go for like an over bet? Would be, would nah, be he gave it up. Check, check. Wow. King high wins. Yeah, yeah that's just, the again, thing when you're no up against. Hands, it's this eight nine is the only hand you beat there, but yeah. you kind of realize you're you're not repping much, and I don't know if you get them off a ten or a jack as played. So yeah, I like I like to give up. I like to give up. We got ace queen opening, two tens and big blind. Um, let's see, we've got twenty bigs, with ace queen. Uh, ace queen could get a war. This is going to be interesting. I I, I think the tens is going to. I think he almost has to three bet. I don't know. And then you got to ask yourself 20 bet. He moved in. Wow. Sergio yeah. putting aggression in with moderately strong hands. Definitely close spots. The tens, the ace queen suited. Good hands, but not is, the nuts. And this is a. I mean, the, the big over bet shows that he's got like a middle pair or he has ace king. And if he has ace king, he's just fucked. And yeah, even think... if it gets a middle pair, he's fucked. So. Yeah, he's. Ace queen off, calling off for your life when they're shorter stacks. I, I think this would be a yeah. I think it's a fold. Sure he's fold. I think it's a fold. See what it's happens. Very close. I really think it's a fold for twenty bigs. Yeah, it's yeah. good fold. Too much to roll the dice. Too much to play for there. Again, Archer three point seven. You're still ahead. You're ahead of D Smilovich, and there's big payouts. Sixth is four thirty five. So we're talking yeah. a massive jump. So where are we at now? Uh, what's uh, eighth place is two sixty. Yep. You're talking about. 76 76,000 page up. Wow. He moves in here. Yeah, I like it. Big big shove with the with the I Sergio mean, with 10 it's a million big now. shove because what's his name's got 10 million. I mean, he's got uh 30 bigs. Fine. I mean, if he wakes up with a hand or cripple. I mean, the the the, the crazy part is though, that the that shove, though, is what do you do if you have ace-queen, if you have ace-king? Sergio's probably supposed to lay it I'm down. I'm probably, because a shove looks kind of weak. I mean. Well, I, but that's not the that's not the problem. The problem is if, when you call and you're risking your life when you're not that, if you have ace-king or even like eights or nines, what are you going to do with tens? Well, I'm you, I, but, but I'm playing to win. If I think the guy's like somewhat weak, I'm going to just say, let's call. I don't care about the money. We just went over talking about ICM. Like you're gonna call off yeah. ten million with what? What's your what do you call there? What's your calling hand with Ace King? Well, or, when I'm he sorry, jams right there, and I have eight. If I have, if I have uh, when the chip leader jams there, because I know these he's jamming light. I mean, if I have like Ace Ten, I'm calling. If I have Ace you're Seven call Plus, I'm calling. You're calling there. You're call with the five shorter stacks and that or four shorter stacks. With, I'm with playing to win, man. Wow. All right, Mike. I don't, I, that's the difference. I don't care. See, the thing is, is you know, when you're playing for all this money, right? And you, you I mean, like, you're. Here's the thing: if you're buying in for 10k, like 76k shouldn't be anything to you. Where 1.5 million should be everything to you. That's my thought process. But I don't know. All right, here we go. I, 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 this I is an interesting it. spot here. I mean, I like the three bet. I would have three bet there too. Yeah. Ilya. 
definitely knows knows his way around the 10k has played a handful of these recently seen him in yeah. the mix knows what he's doing arthur is short on 10 bigs exactly going to take the big blind there's a real hand for smilovich question of shoving or min raising some players they do have min raise folds off these stacked up so kings i think is definitely one to put in the min raise as the strength the aces kings the, the, the deuces are a fold. all all these are folds. this game over i'm lucky for a chip later or the guy with only three three million in chips. Liz Flower certainly could with the stack could make him. I would call it a small mistake, probably to peel against the ranges, but he does get out of the way. I like that. Like the fold. Like oh yeah, the fold absolutely. Gets out of the way. This, this is interesting to me because so far, everybody would play exactly how I would play, and I've never ran a sim or a solver in my life. So that's. Uh, that that, that 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 tells me that my brain is thinking correctly. Are you, tell us about the series this summer, Mike. What's your schedule? Are you going? Are you going crazy? Are you going? Modern? I haven't looked at the schedule yet. Um, I'm like I said. I, I don't know the people that don't listen to my podcast, um, mouthpiece podcast. Um, but I am working. I spent th three months preparing for this year's series because last year I should have won two bracelets. One for sure, and um, I got a first, a fifth, and a ninth, or f second, a fifth, and a ninth, and and I know it was because uh, the medication in my body and stuff. So I'm working real hard. Um, I've been on pain pills for ten years because of my injury. Uh, I'm gone from three pain pills. I'm down to one and a quarter, uh, and hopefully May first, I'll be down to zero. Um, so that's going to be out of my body. I got off Adderall seven weeks ago. Um, so yes, I'm, that's, I know I'm, that can be, that's, that can be definitely. I'm get, just take trying much, to yeah. improve my, I'm eating better. Uh, just trying to, cause last year when I was playing three, when there's three people left, I was debating, should I take an extra half of Adderall or not? And I went back and forth, back and forth. And I ended up taking an extra half of Adderall and it kind of tweaked me out a little bit and it cost me the tournament. And so I figured if it's not in my system, I don't have to worry about that decision anymore. So I'm pretty excited for this year. This is, uh, I'm really preparing mentally in lots of ways. I, I played one week of poker the last two months to get my body ready to play. And then hopefully I'll get my start playing again, like the first of May. Very nice. Well, this is, uh, Definitely some records going on at the World Series. It's going to be exciting to see what comes up for the main event. And I know there's been some schedule changes and definitely always nice to see the horseshoe branding back there, kind of the Bally's horseshoe. Yeah, yeah. Being there. That's a very, very cool. Very nice to see. An yeah, well, when, 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 you're, when your company's going broke and the only thing that's making you money is the World Series of Poker, you got to do something to brand it. <laughs> Thought it was a genius move. Yeah. No doubt. This is, again, a, a very, very interesting time in poker. I think we're seeing sort of an inf influx. There's sort of a, a a live poker burst you're seeing across the board. Amazing to see three major series running simultaneous and hitting, me you know, mega guarantees and really, really yeah. interesting time. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a cool time for poker, no wow, doubt. Wow, what a flop for Sergio. Not that. Ace 10 suited. Let's see if he's just going to go standard small C bet or if he maybe just says he has too much hand, let his opponent bluff, catch up. I think you would nah, he's going to bet. Order, I mean, order. if he checked, yeah, he's got to go like, like if he would have checked there after raising pre, I mean, I almost turned your hand. Like nobody's going to ever check it. Yeah, I think, I think the standard 20, 20%, right? Just, just yeah, that. that's the one thing I've learned recently um, that I've kind of put in my game. I always opened up. Uh, bet a third. I noticed the pros are just opening. Uh oh, we have an all in ace Smilovic. ten. Two packs are definitely. Ilya, all. Dream Spot gets the the jacks to the Three ace to one, ten. one over eight point two million in the middle, and a dangerous player has a chance to be eliminated. Flops the gut shot. Needs help. River ace or jack. jack five outs one ace. to come. And it's a brick. That is a hold. Ilya is coming from the back of the pack. Got aces to ace seven suited. Jacks to ace ten. Holds both. Has himself sixteen million. Good game to Smilovic. Great player, and he is out the door. Pretty uh, 
Just couldn't quite get it going. Can't blame him for shoving there. Got a nice shove on Arthur yeah. earlier. And now Arthur is your short stack. Seventh guaranteed 336. And there's uh, not, I guess there's two short stacks, two very short what stacks. What do we got here? This is interesting. He might shove this. Seven's going to call. And we're, wow. yeah, we're going to be in a flip situation. There's no way seven is folding here. Wow, Arthur May Ladder or 910 Suda going to be healthy. Let's see. 910 Suda hits uh, the nine. No one. Diamond draw. Oh, there is a diamond. There's a sweat. Seven or a diamond, or it's going to be nine, a massive double. Out. Everyone wants to see it happen. It is a brick at the wow. table, and that is a double up. 910 Suda gambles, gets rewarded, and does pick up the pot. And now it's Arthur on the chopping block through the big blind, super short. And wow, what a moment that is. We are still seven handed. Again, 10K uh, buy in, 10 to a winner. Still 10 big blinds. 10 big blinds is plenty to mess with, work with in poker. Well, he doesn't have 10. Arthur's got got six Nine or five more. now. Yeah. So. Mm. Queen eight, I, like to defend, I like to defend with the queen eight. Yeah, super short, risk premium the lowest. Doesn't have to doesn't have to worry about getting knocked out or hitting something and getting cooler as he is going to be through uh, the line. Two jacks under the gun bucks. here. I'm uh, just going to win it. <laughs> so, like going back to what you're saying, like I I I so I noticed a little bit that I don't watch much, but for what I do, I, I noticed people size down to like around 20. I know when I was watching the poker go, I noticed they were they were sizing down to 20, 22 percent on the flop from 33 percent. So, you know, that's the only thing. So I started doing that a little bit more. Um, smaller sizings. Yep, and this is Andrew going with the bigger sizing out of position here against Sergio, who has one of those hands very tricky, the king do suited. He has mm. all options available here, but again, he's in a pretty good spot, 10 million. I think he's I think the fall. It's a fall. Yeah. Nice, nice bet size, nice execution from Andrew, realizing two arts are so short. You can see that jump. It's about, you know, 100,000 between seven. Yeah, where are we at now? We're down to uh, seven, four, five, yeah. six, seven. So, so you're talking about $100,000. Yeah, Liz Flower going to pick it up as there is about three really even stacks there in second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Arthur. Arthur is super short. Ilya I think Ilya's going to defend the jack of and suited with the stack signs. Yeah. Does this one's really over? Nothing interesting here for Ilya. Ace nine off. Got the ace of heart as well. Pretty we strange. haven't really seen any calls in a flop that that continuations really. Yeah, it hasn't been a lot of chaos post flop. We've seen a couple all ins and calls. We've seen so, some short stacks. I'm guessing the 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 new solver situation says oh 20 22 percent on all flops because it seems like everybody open uh, bets the same amount on the flop on the dryer boards. I went. I haven't seen a wet board yet where they go. Yeah. Jack, Safe to 10, say, and you can hear this. one of the spots where Andrew's just going to get to open yeah. so wide, Jack 10 off. I mean, look at Ace 9 off. You don't really want to be defending and then get this, a spot. No, to get these out aren't the hands you want to be defending with. I like the Ace 10 fold. I think the Ace 9 is a fold, too, to be honest with you. Could be thinking about an aggressive maneuver, although, again, Arthur's so short, and that's 100,000, and he does uh, went with it. for it. Wow. Wow. I love that's that's uh that's good play. That's that's a lot of heart right there, man. I'm I mean I know they got other guys opening like really wide, but still is a lot of heart. This time he folds. Now he's this gonna get the three bet on again. Interesting spot for Liz Flower, who actually is in second, just calls oh. Wow and flops top set. Whoa, interesting board texture. The five of hearts, a key card. Let's see if Andrew gets to, he knows he's not going to get played back at here ever. So it's just a matter of how does he do it? Likely going to going to get to dictate the pot size here. And if you're Liz, you're, you're happy with top sets. 118. Uh, you got to make, you got to raise here. You can't let a heart roll off and lose a pot like this. I was, went for the call. Oh, wow. And he hits an ace. Interesting. Uh, I 
think he's going to go big sizing here, right? I think so too. Like almost full pot, and he's going to not going to like what he sees. If Liz and if when Liz calls, we'll probably call one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, two he might, million, he might pay two million. Pay. I think Liz is going to call. The thing is, though, Andrew does have showdown value. So Andrew may just, wow. when he bets, when when Liz likely will definitely call here, and when does call off a non-heart river, I think Andrew with the ace will check back, though. I don't think he's going to go. So yeah. so here we go. We get the scenario. Yeah. Andrew's thinking, I beat a jack. Maybe the guy's got jack with the king of hearts. Maybe something uh, He's going to check back. Check, yep. check. Course. Really good result for Liz there. That, that would have been, that would have not been so fun to get the, to get, yeah, to get. no. Here, here's here, here's my my thought process is, um, when you call there, unless this guy's got a massive hand, he's never going to be betting the river, right? So, like, he checked the ace right there. So, so there's so much out there. Like, why don't you just pick up the pot there? Just raise it and pick it up. Like, I know normally, you know, you want to you know call, you want to like trap in there, but. Do you really want to get unlucky against a chip? You're picking up five million extra chips, and like you saw, what, what did calling do? Right? It, he's never betting the river, unless, and so, you know, uh, all you did is give him an extra card for free. You, you understand you say, what I'm trying to say? I, I I do. I agree with most of what you're saying. The other part of that, though, is he happened to have a showdown. What does he do if he just has the king of heart? Like doesn't have the nut. He doesn't. Oh, have I see what hair. you're saying. He might. Yeah, just, he, he, happen, he might bluff. He, that he just again. has. He might bluff again. And and and, gotcha. and I, I think Liz is not trapping. I think Liz is very happy with the hand, but is more just gotcha. in sort of defense because there are you know you people flop flushes. It's not it doesn't have to have the nut flush. Could have had a. He's opening yeah, a, a they, wide range. People flop. He's, they flop flushes all the time. It's a, yeah, 118 to one uh, odds That's interesting. to do. Yeah. Fives are probably going to see bet and. I think Lisa's going to with backdoor and unless if he goes real small, uh, he went with a check. Interesting. I think I would have seen bet that. Oh, well, he didn't have the spade. I get it. He's just going to give it up. I guess if he has a five of spades in his hand, he might just call. Well, All right. We do have a tweet the turn. out as well. I'm going to put that in the chat for you guys. That is a $50 Giveaway, Mike. Get your Twitter active there. Get the retweet. Let people know you're live, baby. We got we got ourselves a massive show today. This is one of the biggest events, the biggest purses we'll see in GG Million history. It's right up there, 1.5 up top. Fives does get out turned. Yeah, he's fives are going to give it up here. I understand the check. I think if you have the five of spades in your hand, I think you can bet. It's close. Hold on, let me get this. Nine yeah, ten okay. suited and Arthur. He's actually... got just he's got the, not even a one and a half bigs. I mean, this is the kind right. of hand you want to play. But he's gonna yeah. get through, he's gonna get both of them the call. How can he open for four hundred with two sixty two behind? Well, oh, he just flat it. He didn't open. He just flat it. I think his reasoning is he wants Andrew in there, and maybe Andrew would bluff at it, or maybe just oh, know you're wow. gonna flop he's gonna trip get the nines. full triple up. What a what a board that is. But I mean, that just shows to me that looks like you're so strong. But you're not. Yeah, I mean, he's he's okay. That's. The rest, this is this is like the life of Arthur for poker right here summed up. Short stack <laughs> in the biggest life. tournament gets quad nines. How's he feeling at home? There? It doesn't he's matter. Gonna, he's gonna he check. Knows. I mean, his hand is kind of face up. Like when he checks, limps and checks. I mean, he's gonna check back again and hope somebody makes a pair on you. The crazy thing is, Andrew may actually bluff at this. I think somehow as played because. He the, the funny part is like if he actually goes all in, it checks to him and he goes all in, there's there's no like what if these guys no one wants to even call him? That's the crazy part here. It, the way he played it, I mean turned his hand face up. I get it, but I'm saying it's 262 to knock him out. No one even has a pair. It's like it's just funny that like three six obviously can't call, has the worst possible hand. And then you got Sergio. Wow, Sergio doesn't call either. Interesting. 
And my cat decided to shit in my fucking back, and I can't say I'm dying here. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta cover it up. Thanks, Uh-oh. cat. Uh oh, cat issues over there. And Ace Jack now, look at this. He gets, he could potentially double and have over four million. Get a double plus the blinds and Annie. I mean, fours are not wow. gonna fold for four blinds, but this is short stack at its finest. Arthur now literally could be well in it if he wins this flip. There is a jack gone. We see Sergio. Well, Sergio, uh, uh, he's just going to call there. Oh, he'll hit an ace or a jack. This guy runs like God. Uh-oh. Spoke too soon. Nine ace, ace or a jack. The river needs help. You saw Jack burn, and this is going to be a uh -oh. three nope, across. Three across. That is a no good. Six, and that is G G to Arthur, who will go out. Golfer claps all around. A lot of respect to Elky claps coming out there. Big man Elky. A lot of love for Elky doing doing big things. And Elky is not a uh, he's he's a he's actually Elky is one of the more decorated players of all time. He is someone that you see that emoji use so often. It was cool to get to Korea, see Elky at the offices there. And and this is a this is a good spot with aces, man. Aces to Jack Six and you get Andrew with the open. Nothing going for the Jack Six suit. It does have a key card. Does Aces does Aces ever check this flop? He's got 14 million. He's got 38 million. I mean yeah, Jack yeah, 10 no, you're no. afraid of some two pairs. It's 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 uh it yeah. goes quarter quarter pop. Makes sense. Could I think you could you could uh, I think you're better served to bet. Also, I think in this spot you realize you're never really going to get check raise bluff, right? Like this is right. not the time. Good. And then you I just got check you raise. You just you just got check raised. <laughs> this looks super strong. You would not expect. I know this. that's why I probably would have checked that flop. That was what my thought process was. I mean, Andrew's going to realize how much credit this is at demanding. Wow. And when you get called now, now, now he's going to have to give up, right? He does turn a pair. I mean, does he really follow through here for four million? I mean, do you get like ace queen kings to fold, aces to fold? It's if you show strength here, I mean, you're asking a lot. You do have the key. He does it. This guy, man, Ilya, playing like a champion. This guy happens to have a real hand. He's just gonna have like, you know, king jack and ace jack off or nine ten and just be kind of forced to fold. Aces are in a tough spot. A oh, fucking yeah. tough spot here. Yeah, if you're beat, you're really beat. You know, if he's got the two pair, he's got a set, he's got Jack-10, you're just drawing dead to those hands, Jack-10 in particular. So he does call it down. And now the question, does Ilya have the triple or do you just have to sign the the white flag and say, you know what, I went for uh, it. And he, I, the, I, I think he got to give But He's calling the turn. He's calling the river. I don't know, man. I don't know if that's true. Or is he is he calling $8 million on the river? You're just going to decide this guy's just going for the kamikaze triple barrel like i don't know man i like the double check the call to, and then to, oh he went for it. you are a hero my friend this is a heroic moment this is absolutely wild mike he went for it i think he's gonna fold i mean this I, is he so has strong. to fold this is such a crazy bluff like i love it i love it he's blocking two pairs he's got he knows the six likely is not good he, He's ripping it in. He's repping Jack 10. And if you're Andrew, you got the chip lead. You're comfortable. You're crushing. Like, this is a brave bluff. This is brave. I, I, I this agree. is honestly, out of all the GG millions, this is the most ICM suicide heart, however you want to describe it. I love how he card. plays. Plays to win, man. This is Fuck a ICM. massive bluff. Whatever happens here, this guy is, this is the play of GG million season for me. This is an absolute legend. Oh, he, called. he gets called. Andrew is not the told, guy. But that's, Andrew just this says, is what I hey, said. you know what? Once he calls turn, he's calling river, man. I don't know. I love it still, Andrew. And, and Andrew Wilson, 54 million. Hello. This is going to make potentially quick work of today that is a grown man call and that is a real real world bluff right there i gotta say sick so sick it's just like how can they call and then they call they just call sometimes because they, call they just have, have aces. aces it comes to aces. three on the river oh my goodness nothing changes oh my you goodness see, if it comes something else on the river i get this is just like if you call the turn the three's a blank you're just calling the river and, and you gotta know that. I mean, I thought he was calling no matter what, man. But what do I know? Wow.
Wow. What is, I mean, so much going on. I'm going to cue the keyword giveaway about four or three left. 54 million chips. We are down to five. Payouts are massive. 563. You can see the next jump to 730. We are really in a, a grown man. And a re this is not the kitty game. Like, I know you know about kitty games. You talk about kitty games down the street. This is, this is grown, grown adult stuff. All the, all ladies and gentlemen out there, let us know where you're watching from. Mike's in Vegas. I'm somewhere in Texas, I don't even know where I am. I'm somewhere random in Texas right now on a, on a place, and I'm having fun, and I'm here with you guys, and I'm having an amazing day. This is high-stakes poker. We just saw a massive bluff run that did not get through. Big, big-time poker there. That was that was exciting. That was exciting, I got to say. I mean, I've seen a lot of poker. I've watched done a lot of final tables, and this was this was up there. I mean, I, I, I would like to see... Now, this is how I would have played that. If I was going to go to food, I would have fucking check, call, turn, check, raise, turn. Oh, my. I was just thinking, wow. is he going to shove with the 17 million stack he is? And he's actually going to run into the Kings, like the worst case scenario. And let's see. Does he just get Ooh. to? I mean, he needs a uh, run. Why? Runner. Why would you shove 17 million? That was he's like, that is a ballsy, ballsy shove. 40 there. friggin big blinds. Like you have complete control of the tournament. All you really have to do is just open a small ball and just keep opening. Wow. King four off. I mean, he just thinks he has such a lead that no one's going to mess with them. But here he goes. He gets he's going to run into another all in. Yeah, this, is what they, this is what they all do. They, they they get too chip happy. They you know, I think it's one of the biggest mistakes that that, that, that a lot of these people make. And they, people pick up hands like every all the time. Yeah. You know, and I mean, hold on a second. Did you, uh, oh, here we go. I mean, when you have that kind of lead, it, it, you should be opening, but you, should, you you can't be putting your, you got to play regular poker. I, I, I don't, I mean, opening 17 million, that's 10, well, 400,000 big blind you're talking about. 40. 40, 40 bigs like More. who would ever shove 40 bigs like that's there's i'll tell that's, you who that's the man from the uk playing in pounds this might not even be a million pounds he's just saying i'm going for it i'm putting pressure they gotta have a hand and even if they do i can still get you know he honestly no one's really supposed to call. he's actually been unlucky in the sense that massive hands have woken up but, but yeah what, definitely five, a little bit much five hands risk. left 563 you're talking about 170 k uh, yeah yeah, yeah five hundred thousand guaranteed. Who gives a shit about one seventy? I care about one point five million. Well, we got a post flop hand here. Nine five now picks up some equity. Seven is a straight. Let's see if he continues the story. He's oh, got. He's, he's he's gonna continue. He's the story. double guttered. Yeah, it's one of the better. I'm already better convinced cards. about this. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a pretty pretty logical time to to to, to nice equity to have here too. A seven yeah. gonna be hard. It's just hand nah, on. He's, did pick this up right here. Guy shoves forty million. Or shoves forty bigs. He ain't, he ain't letting up here. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a big turn. Picks up the seven for outs. Nine or five could be good. It was. He does fall through. Fifty one, fifty mil almost. Fifty point two. Thirty. I mean, twenty big blinds in a poker tournament is a lot. You know, like. I mean, this is just going to be a shove, right? Oh, he went for the three X. That's what he should have done the last time. Like, I don't. Sergio decides to roll the dice with the call. Eight nine has some nice playability figures. He could get a courtesy double if he hits hard. And at the moment, Jack six off does flop fairly well for that. Is one of the worst hands you can have, and he flops a gut shot. Jack six, so probably going to keep mm -hmm. put some pressure on. Yeah, it was a close spot. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, and Sergio can't get much more. Can't get too creative there. He's going to have to get out of the way. It does fold. And ace five, blind on blind. Still has not super short. I mean, he, he's short stacked, but he still has. He might limp here. Yeah, I like the limp. That's what I would have done. I like the limp a lot. 
can limp jam on some 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 bets, but he is back back. Uh, not a good flop. Good flop for the eight five off. Gets open ended on the six seven. Yeah, hard board. No heart in his hand. He's probably gonna check. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think if he has a the a heart in his hand, he might take a four hundred two hundred fifty k stab or something. But I, I like to check. Ooh, look at this. This is a great card. For oh my god, Ace Five here. It's gonna have to call some kind of bet. I probably three hundred fifty thousand, four hundred thousand, like a big blind. Three. I think he goes small, real small. Yeah, a twenty-five percent pot. What do you go eight hundred? He went big. He went bigger. Interesting. This is Sergio may just and be inclined to call, thinking that he beat some hands. He also may get checked back on some rivers that he's that give up. I mean, he's against the absolute stone cold nuts, and Juan knows that this is an unbelievable spot. He's unblocking all the pairs. He has the nuts, probably yeah. real big here, I would imagine. Yeah, and it's just gonna be over. Yeah, he's just gonna win. Eight five off. And look at that chess clock. Everyone with a healthy clock today. You get 15 minutes to start. We have seen people run out of clock in various shows today. Everyone well over 10 minutes. And he just goes for all of it, just thinking that for all the reasons, right? I don't blame he has him. the nuts. He has unblocks, no pairs. And I don't blame him. Yeah. Sergio with the queen or some obviously two pairs or something can't fold. Let's pick it up. Oh, wow. Ace is a big, big line. line. Nobody has anything. Yep, well, I'm just gonna gonna. Wow, <laughs> that's like the most tilting thing in poker. Do you look? Do you look live, Mike? When it folds to in the big line, do you take a look or no? Now, the aces are just getting uh, passed around. And king queen of spades. And king queen. King queen, queen on the button. Raise. Oh my god! And king queen three is gonna three bet. It's gonna be open. Wow! Open from the eight ten. Three Flat. bet the twenty four squeeze. Two point four million three bet coming. And then what do you do? You flat the aces? No. Too four, much too not. much equity. Too I cute. Agree. I think you just click it up. Mm, yeah, this might be you're right. This might be two point eight, three point two, like a big squeeze. You just figure Andrew's gonna get out of the way. Juan probably not flare blocking all like the yeah i think this is going to go a big bet 3.2 3.4 yeah you might be right and then if it goes to yeah six, three, wow, huge. yeah now it's now it's, you have to jam because it just looks so a 3.6 million call is just like gives away your hand so well yeah he's not going to flat i'm just thinking if he would make it uh you know 2.8 2.6 2.7 point more. like a, a yeah, 2x just like click it in and try to like you know get cute or it, it almost looks game. stronger it almost looks stronger to do that than shove though right he does click he went it. with the min raise like that looks so strong the min 4 bet yeah the shove looks knows. the shoves looks weak too. yeah you, can go both, you go both ways on that though. It does look stronger, but then you also take away the opportunity for the for the the, the shove, you know, or maybe you get an ace king hero fold, like versus ace king just sticking it in themselves. So Liz Flower has twenty five million is still half of what Andrew has. But the stacks are still deep, you know, like there's still like thirty million. 40, 30 big blinds, 40 big blinds. I mean, these are really deep stacks. You know, most final tables, the chip leaders got 50 big blinds and the rest of them have like like 25 or 30, right? Yeah. So I thought. Yeah, this is deep for sure. I mean, this also is a function of Andrew being such a huge stack at the start. Eight, nine, I mean, uh, 17 just... million is uh, 43 big blinds. The other person's Back. got 39 big blinds. I mean, there's plenty of people got yeah. plenty. You can't get too fast because people are pl plenty deep. I mean, I mean, you're picking up what two big blinds a pop. I mean, that's nothing, huh? You know, you, you get too fast, you, you get screwed. 
Ace eight De fold. Decal passes on the ace eight off. I think Andrew, as we see, is pretty inclined to play aggressively. I, I'd be, I'd be, yeah. I think this shove would just be a little too crazy, and he's now tailored it down to the min race. Yeah, called. after he grenaded forty big blinds, <laughs> could have been worse. Yeah, he at least it wasn't the seventeen million stack that had the the kings, but it was was a double up. Uh, just you just have to. Oh, I, I don't, I don't deviate from your open. Nobody's really can three bet light in, with the stack sizes. Four, five, queen, six. You call them a bottom pair. Interesting. Yeah, he's gonna definitely mean. peel one. Let's see now if he gets. I think he's here. got. He's betting. The ace is too good a card. He's gonna bet about fucking. Well, he checked it back, and then he got rewarded. Unless the guy just bombs it here. I think this hands over. I think it's check, check. Yeah, Andrew, I mean, this is definitely one that I don't see the the four or five off. It's kind of like, it's just, this is, so again, unless you get like sevens or eights, that's what you're trying to target or sixes. I, I'm, a, I'm a little, I'm, I'm a little shocked he, he raised and checked the ace. The ace is, such, you know, he's, he's such a good card to bet in case the guy has a nine or a king. I mean, you could put a lot of pressure wow. on the. So I think that's what he's going with here. He's deciding that he wants to get a. Yeah, he's maybe going to target sixes, sevens, eights. You know, somehow even a four, like a. And, just and, decide, and, interesting, and, really interesting there. I, I I like it. I like the bet with the five four, but but I I, I would have bet the ace on the turn, and I would have won the pot. I just think the ace is a card you have to. Learn. You you could put a king in a very tough spot. You know, I can't tell you how many times, how many times I tell you I'm done with the hand and the ace rolls off, and I'm like, that's, I'm like, oh, that's a card I can bet, and then I get screwed too. So I mean, it, it works both ways. Really nice, nice um, hand there. Interesting here, five point six million, fifteen bigs, ace six. I, this has to be. I don't like the. I don't like the show. I I, I would have been raised. Juan Pardo Dominguez is going to snap it in. We saw the ace jack, ace jack. Sergio Adu in trouble here. Needs help. Ace jack in the lead to the turn. No spade for the back. Got a lot of chop now. outs. Has chop outs. The three, the queen. It's a nine. Oh. And that is going to be GG golfer claps. Two D neg golfer claps. Two LK yeah. golfer claps. Four remain. And Sergio Adu yeah. is out in fifth. But another impressive score. You, you Spaniard... know, after the, the reason why I used I used to jam like thirteen bigs or whatever, and um, uh, speaking with uh, what's his name, uh, who's a great player that got second to the German guy three years ago, that ladder his way up. Uh, German I'm trying to think in the main event. What German won three years ago? You're not the fifty-three year old guy. Oh, uh, Hussein. Hussein Baba. And the, guy, the great, what's his name? I'm having blame for it. Like, got second. Uh, laddered all the way up from ninth with like eight bigs. I'm not sure uh, he got second. I know you're talking about who won. No, he got second. He played head up forever. He finally, he said he, he, he when he flopped the flush dry, he said he knew he was beat, but he was like so worn down because the other guy couldn't, but just never moved. How can I? I'm going to find his name. I, but I, I'm saying I know who won. You're saying the German guy won, right? Who's saying? Yeah, but Baba. you know who got stuck, and he's like one of the best players in the world. I'm having a brain fart. Gosh darn it. Um, let me see. What year was that? 2019. His name Hussein Ansan. Let's yeah, see. It was stuck. against. Uh, I'm going to see. Happened? It was against. Uh, oh, Dario, of course. Dario. Dario. Yeah, yeah. I'm having a brain fart. And Dario was telling me like. So many people like to shove these 13 bigs, but like he goes, he goes, a min raise, they're bold to a three bet. It's like works way better, you know. With the that was in the main event. Like, so what are these limits? Are these like hour limits, 40 minute li limits? Um, these are. Are these so upper left? It tells you how many hands. So it's on the level, and then after 20 hands, it goes up. The blinds go up. That's how they do it. There's all it's it's, and then there's a chess clock for each player as a chess clock. So the, every 20 hands, the blinds go up. Uh yes, that is correct. Yeah. Well, how long is 20 hands? 
how, it, about what? It can depend. So, I mean, I got the chess clock. Here we get a limp with nines. This is a night. He just calls, sets a trap. It's not a good flop and actually could get blown off here. Seven deuce has a pair and probably going to be continuing, I would imagine, every time. Yeah, but he's gonna. it's going to be bet call, you would think, and then shut down, shut down. Yeah, depending on the run out. And Liz doesn't isn't gonna like this though. This this random ace ten flop no. calls one, and then Andrew gets called. Gonna be and, but Andrew's got to be worried about getting trapped on. He he got trapped yeah. on this. Well, Lisa's Liz is trapped twice. Though, big hands. There, there are all those suited Broadways or Broadways Jack Queen King Jack though. That would he he could maybe try to to oh, that's fend a good... off here, but. Nines, let's see now. Nines are not neither player that thrilled with what's going on on the board. Could put a blocker bet here too. I don't I think it's gonna go I don't know. Definitely could bet bet here. It's just a strange line. You're yeah you're like, goes for a bluff sort of interesting. Why wow, super yeah. super wild uh it's interesting just has the nine of hearts has nines maybe trying to get the king x to fold maybe that's the that's yeah awesome. i mean like yeah i mean he has like king queen king jack yeah uh, interesting interesting hand shows you again more than one way to play a hand here we go queen deuce ace deuce limps in juan pardo dominguez so juan now who has a gg million champion Ship under his belt has a big stack and in good position here has a good seat against Andrew direct left of the chip yeah. leader and has tied for second big money at stake. Induce, ace, deuce, ace, deuce, paired the ace, got check mark on the hand as long as gets to showdown, likely will, not a lot in the pot, and Andrew's not taking aggressive action. Decided it wants to protect, bet the hand a bit here. Does bet, probably end it, yeah, queen, queen, deuce, out of the way. Queen, Jack, three, six, suited on the button, fold. And the short stack now with eight million, B Cal. So what are we, how are we doing for our matchup in players? You got Andrew, so that's a good sign for you. I have Liz, I have B Cal, and I believe I have one part of Dominguez. So we're actually kind of even right now, Mike, for our dinner wager, $50. Yeah. If, if Andrew wins, 100 if any of the others. That is Jeff Gross Poker Twitter. Hope you got the retweet out, Mike. Let your people know you're live. Got that. All right. You're on you're on you got the you got your podcast too. You're kinda on the ball, social media wise, content wise. Mike, where can people watch your podcast? Uh you can watch my podcast, any any podcast, uh channel, uh YouTube, Twitter, uh Twitch, whatever. Beautiful. And it's called It's a Mouth, right? The Mouth Podcast. Uh Mouthpiece Podcast, yeah. Mouthpiece. There it is. And how many episodes you've done a lot of episodes now? Yeah. Oh, we got raised with aces. Nine, ten of hearts is one hundred percent going to defend here. Ooh, this could be a big pot in the certain scenarios oh, like this. Wow, and this I, could depth backdoor hearts. And top pair. Spot where if one in a size small here, right? There's a five five hundred k size, right? Yeah, five forty seven. Yeah, and Andrew definitely someone that could get aggressive. Not on this flop. He's in a call. Especially against the only stack that gonna hurt him. Yeah. Um, he's 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 just looking he's looking to play big pots, but yeah, you're right. This does is does, it, does does the aces ever check here? I mean he's got pretty much board covers to a ten. Yeah, I mean you could you could argue it's probably a two street hand. So do you wanna go now or do you wanna go see yeah. maybe I think I, I think I could get blown off by a six seven and a five six. I think I checked the aces. Yeah, and then on the river you can evaluate or just call even. But he bet. He, he bet. He went big. That's fine too. Yeah, I think this is a three two street hand though. Likely, it's I don't a two think. street hand either which way. You go for it now. 
I mean, what does he do if he gets raised? <laughs> he just got called. That's it's a pretty good river for Juan. No six, no deuce, yeah. race. but yeah, I don't think he's gonna. You know, I will say this though: Juan is definitely this is one of the world class players, and and I would, it's not mm -hmm. shocking if he were to go for three based on as played oh, out with this yeah. player. I, and now with that river, that is a relatively safe river. I think he's going to consider about him. But he could also have ran, you know, it could be in the six, seven, and the guys just check calling him. Like, what hand is he calling? He's never going to call him with a 10. And he went wow. for the three bet hand. Wow. And he's and never going to get called there. It just really can't get called. I don't like know. There's some ace jack, ace queen, ace. There are some hands where there are some bluffs, to some scenarios of bluffing. I, I don't know, man. Andrews, this is a this is a strong three three street hand from, from Juan Pardo Dominguez. Very, yeah. very strong. To, I don't, you know, I don't think he gets. I don't think he gets called. Be very shot. The king is just all, such mean, a great Andrew, card. Andrew called down that those aces with it's a different scenario, but he called down aces on a board that was a bit scary here. You know, right? This is way different. Way different. Does yeah, good fold. Good fold. So yeah, so by betting the turn. King would have killed the action, so he got two streets. If he checks a turn, he only gets one street. So I, I, I think it could go either way. Yes, but also if it went like that, it could be still he might have called the river then, right? He might have just decided that now he's only putting yeah. he calls the river bet. But right, that is the benefit of betting the second street, and then you can decide about the third. The to your if you get blown off though, it's a disaster, right? If he gets check raised Correct. huge there, that's a pretty tough spot. Correct. But again, good instinct from Juan Pardo Dominguez. I think Juan's the favorite right now. He's the most experienced. He's he's out of the group left. He's got a great seat against Andrew, who's played well, who has been played well. But is a yeah. little bit. Andrew Cavalier made the one mistake. Chips. He made the one mistake. The big um, shove, the big shove, yeah, for, for the, the forty chips. big blinds. You know, but those those one mistakes. I mean, those are the chips that come back to to haunt you. You know, and 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 it, and it really, the way he was playing had complete control of the table. Like he he just didn't need to do that. I think he got a little too chip happy. And listen. I've been too chip happy in my life whenever I do get chips, so I get it, you know, but it's something that you have to balance. You have to make sure you don't, you kind of get away from. Uh, this is an interesting hand here. He's got uh, 20 bigs. He might three bet this pretty, yeah, I like it. I like the shove. Yeah, it's good when you get the king X to fold. That accomplishes a lot. You know, it's a very nice playable hand. You could definitely be peeling. You're also the shortest, so again, the yeah, premium. Love, if you go out, it's, close. it's not as big of a problem. And the hand plays well against some other hands you get called by. So, you no, know, you can also three bet to. Uh, I don't know that twenty bigs. I mean, if you three bet to like three million, you're never getting four bet on without being dead, like way behind. I mean, you could risk like the shove is what ten million. Uh, I think you could accomplish the exact same thing with three million. But that, that's kind of like old school thinking, you know, like if you run into a hand, you know, you got, you give yourself an extra bullet, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and the, and the new school guys are like, okay, 20 big blinds or less Jack Queen suited Jane, you know, now Daniel was doing that for a while. And, uh, and he's kept getting screwed, like 15 big, 16 bigs jamming the Jack Queen suited. And he's like, I'm done doing this shit. If I'm 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 getting my money in three to and, and he started winning, you know. So he he made that adjustment. We talked about that actually. So the, you know, so you're uh, saying he adjusted to what? Off those stack size he was shoving? Yeah, uh, he started he started min three betting him instead of jamming the fifth twenty bigs, you know. And uh and not getting his money in. Or he's a dog, you know. He said, "I'm, I'm gonna start getting my money in three to one favor." You know, and that's what he told me at least. So I don't know how he's playing, but yeah. Well, Liz Flower made a nice check raise there with the queen eight off on the jack jack high board against Deuce Four. Got picked it up, and everyone kind of chipping up. I mean, Andrew Wilson still the leader, but sort of the two three stacks have been chipping up, and he's chipping yeah. He's little, it, so. this this has become now now it's more, there's gonna be a lot more. A lot less uh, 
it's interesting now how it's going to happen. I mean, if uh, who's uh, what's the person with the ten million? What's his name? Uh, um, that is DeKalb. Wanda. We'll call him DeKalb. Right. The ten million. Wanda, Juan Pablo Dominguez has twenty eight million. Okay. Oh yeah, DeKalb. Okay, got it. Yeah, I mean, he's still got twenty bigs, but if like if this goes to anybody, I mean, now it's a three horse. I mean, there's going to be a lot of interesting. So, praise check. I think this hand's going to be over, yeah. Five with a raise. Really deep here. I, I, like I still just... think a three bet to about three million. Based on how Andrew plays. Yeah. Fold to a four bet. Oh, he just called. Does flop very well against the hand he's against. Of course, still not. Yeah, he's gonna get another he's gonna get another street of value. He's gonna get another street. Yeah. King five has no backdoor yeah. really real equity other than the queen. So five. the one thing I the one thing I was pretty sure I had learned, but I wasn't sure, as I started sizing, like, uh oh, he turned a flow. Oh, never mind. He's got board coverage completely with Ace and a flush draw. Is the 25, uh, the 22 to 25% size on these dry boards. Um, I, I've, I've learned to go, sm I've been going smaller recently, and, uh, and, I, and I think it's the right way. And ace three suited now, deciding if one to bet or check. Yeah. I, when the guy checks back, he's probably not calling. So wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if he checks it again and maybe gets him to bluff because he probably doesn't have a hand he's calling with. But he could bet a, he could bet small here, like really small. Oh, he goes big. Interesting. Uh, that that so so like my thought process is when they check back turn, I guess there's two ways to think, about it, right? They check back turn, they're they're probably not calling the river, but then again, if you check, and they check, they see that you just flatted ace three of spades, uh, you don't want to give them that information either. So a lot of times, so you bet to like not really, so they don't know what you're, how sometimes that like you're calling with a strong hand. Uh oh, this is going to be a big, eight, big, been a little big. million chip pot. Big temperature check. Just gonna shoot it up. This will probably just go take down. I don't think I want to shove. He just just no. You don't want to shove with twenty five million behind you. You just want right. to make it like three point five million. Yeah, Two point eight. He doesn't yeah. have to go big. Doesn't even have to go that far. Yeah. The guy is just short. Who's opening? But yes, nice. Oh, this should be a uh, interesting hand. Yeah. It's going to open a million three bet ace 10 to this is a very interesting icm situation. out of position you really have to go big if you're three betting i think more like 3.8 could call two but i think against this guy he's gonna he's gonna three bet Yeah, he's waiting. He understands also the big blind. Does he want to invite him along with the ace 10 off? He is going to. Yeah, he went for, he went even bigger than 3.8, 4.7. Uh, that's a, that's about makes sense. I was, I usually go about 3.8. Yeah, he went even bigger. He, he four, four X them. He five X them almost. I mean, this can't I mean, be anything but a fold. I mean, it just can't be. Oh, he called. Wow. Andrew Wilson wow. going to the streets. That's the thing is, like, if they call, now you're playing ace and ace jack out of position against a guy. Just... Man, yeah. that's a big call here. I mean, does he see bet, like, 3 million? Yeah, 2.5? Kind of like it. I kind of like it. Now he's gonna put in all, all all nines and tens in bad spots. If he had nines or tens or eights. 
I, I can't see him continuing here, but he did. Wow. He's repping a monster now. Wow. Now he's in a ace 10. I mean, is he really going to go here? He's been fuck called by a massive three bet and called on the flop. Like, I think he has to give up, man. And then will Andrew take it away? I presume he will. Yeah, he checked to him. I think he's going to go like like four million and pick it up. Yeah, he can go maybe even a little bigger. Five point yeah. eight, like six, just something. Just kind of let him know that. I mean, a big. He, hand, he doesn't like have a, to. He doesn't have you, to. Go you know, yeah. I mean, a, a big queen could check to this guy too. <clears throat> I don't know. I haven't seen any of these guys checking. Yeah, he went small. I thought he would. Well, nice yeah. hand from Andrew, showing us that he's got some he's got some moxie. I mean, he's in there. He called. I like the way he played it. He really, really took I the like the way he played it, too. I mean, that, really that, nice. that's the thing, you know. I, that's why I, with the ace-10, I would have gone real big, which he did. I mean, he went big, and he still got called. So what that tells you is maybe you shouldn't be three-betting this guy. Maybe it should be just seeing flops. Because he loses $7.5 million and this guy's not going to fold King Jack offsuit for a 5X raise. What's, what's he going to fold? Wow. Yeah. Big raise to 1.4. Queens are just going to put them all in, and this is going to be over. Oh, went for the, went for the super small three bet again. I mean... I don't know. When they do that, to me, it looks so big. I mean, if you're going to super small three bet with aces and queens, you better be super small three betting with nine, ten suiteds and and jack tens and hands like that to balance. I mean, how could ten five? Well, he's like thinking, oh, 1.3 million to hit a pair, but you don't want to really hit a pair. Fold line, I would have folded too. Yeah, Decal's done a good job forehanded here, fighting. He's got himself a 730k payday, 10k buy. I mean, uh, Lisa's had uh, Liz has had the most uh, hands for sure. Okay, nine seven suited on the button against these two. I would just fold because they, huh? These guys don't. <laughs> they like to fight. That's the reason why I would fold. Make, I mean, he gets any other two players I probably would raise, but King Four is going to three bet here. I know this guy. He just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> I like it. I told you that you can't be opening nine seven against these guys. I mean, he's ten here. He could. He just could jam it, but he's in a fold. I yeah. Mean, that's uh, just Andrew's Andrew's now separate himself. He's back. He's got 60. He likes playing aggressive poker. He's he's sort yeah. of now in a good spot. This is the type like of here, stuff. Here, this is another start. fold. This Jack 10 is a fold. He's he's just gonna three bet you again. There you go. At least Liz folded this time. I like it. Got him. Yeah, one point. He, he learned his lesson from that that big jam. This is gonna be a shove and a call. <laughs> This is going to be a shove and a call, and this is going to be a good spot for A7. It's going to have him slightly pipped. I think this will yeah, go. Yeah, a lot, lot of chop outs. Probably it's, it's what, like 50% chop, and unless it comes deuce 3-4, then, then everything's off the fucking table. I mean, yeah, good, good luck. luck. Snap call. Oh. A7, A6 suited. You can see the percentages pretty close. And a yeah. 7, though, going to lock it up there. Lock it up. A yep. 100% drawing dead on the turn. But yeah, wood chop a lot, and and that is actually huge moment for the other players remaining. As now Andrew is, you know, that's not great for him, but it also he leverages other one, and and he can start playing a little more, a little more aggressive, and, yeah. and everyone everyone has to be careful now. Ace ten suit has got got a three bet big, at least at least four four point five million, I think. I'll just call, huh? Now. I just Liz just did what um uh what's his name? Uh Andrew didn't do. Just call with the ace ten instead of three bet big. Which is fine. A call's fine too. Yeah. 
I mean, Liz has all these 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 small cards that defended with. I, I think Liz is going to see bet something like one point eight here. No, one for the check. The double check on this board here. I, I don't think yeah can do anything. You bet. Queen, one of the one of the one of the interesting spots. I mean, you have Queen High, you have two overs yeah. to the board. I mean, you're gonna put put some pressure on the four or the six. You know, the nine just rolls off. I think you're gonna see a bet here. Yeah. Big bet. Who, who, what's this guy's name? With the, the just bet. I can't can't see. Juan, it's Juan Pardo Dominguez. Okay, Juan Dominguez. Got it. Yeah. You probably play with him. He plays poker. He's played a lot of live stuff too. Yeah, he's got yeah. Seventeen I've million with him. GG earnings. He's he's a he's one of the elite elite. Known. Yeah, there, there, there's a two. There's a two ways. To see, if Liz three bets, probably gonna pick up the pot by flatting there, which is fine. You, you, you're basically you have to hit a flop. You know, uh, I, I'm fine either way. Against Juan Dominguez, though, in his stack, I think I would have three bet the ace ten. And the other way, when now that I see that the guy's capable of calling a five x three bet, made, made three bet here as well. Wilson, the king five, the gapper here, he just calls and he's dominated. But yeah, you're right, Mike. That's I mean, that's why it's it's really fun. It's sort of exploitatively. You start to know the players and the in the situations, and you can. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of maneuverability. You have a lot of choices. And, and, and after you know, after 20 minutes of of watching the stream and watching, you, you know, you, you you know, like Andrew just fights for every pot. Which is, that's good, you know, and, and guys like that are tough to play against. But then again, you know, you th those are the guys you want to that aren't that are. I don't think I'm trapping against guys like that. Like, I like the the three x the, the five x three bet. Guy called it, and it's just fun, you know. Now you know that this guy's calling a lot of big three bets, and so maybe you just kind of just call. Marginal hands. Yeah, nine, seven, ace, turn three, and is going to check back. King five has a key card, five. Will he go for it? King ten has the winner. I think he's going to go for it on the double check board. I know I would. <laughs> Even though everybody thinks I'm the tight, tightest knit, I, I would definitely go for this. Well, he didn't. Uh, that's just going to go probably check, check. Unless King 10 might think that he could turn this hand into a bluff. Which he might. I would have lost. I would have bet the King 5. I'm going to say, you know, that's just me. I'm going to double check. I just don't see any trapping. I like to bet here. Yeah, That's King 10 thinking point. he doesn't have the best hand, so he's bluffing, even though he d does have some shot on. It's interesting, though. He beats, like, 10-8, 10-8-6, Jack-10. There are hands he does have shot on against, and he just decides yeah. he's got to bluff. But, but yeah, when it goes like check, it. check, 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 he's just getting called with all pair. I, man. This is an interesting hand. Definitely an interesting hand. He wouldn't one. be surprised if he shoves. That's <laughs> yeah, fine. That hand kind of played itself. I, I, I... I would have had no problem if he would have bet on the river. I I, I can't tell you how many times I bet and I say nice hand. <laughs> well, here we go. Seven, six, ten. We've seen him be aggressive in the spot, making it like four X, three point five X. So let's see, he does go for the two point one and sevens is a lot of hand. Uh likely just gonna rip it here. Uh, let's see. 30 30, bigs. Is he 30 really bigs. ripping? He ain't ripping uh, thirty flatting, bigs, buddy. Flatting seems Please he's making it six point six million. He's supposed to. Oh, he just calls. Well, wow. wow. Yeah, it is I, thirty. You're right. Thirty's a lot. That's a that's lot. A to lot. Just rip it in. I don't like the call. I like. I I make it like five point five fold fold to a shove. I I I, I don't. Now you got to play sevens. Now how do you like it? You know. He is in position, though. Also, I think Andrew's not just going to blind go full aggression, although we did see that from Ilya. He did the triple barrel check raise, went for mm -hmm. it, ran to aces. That was one of the hands of all of GG Millions in my book. I mean, just to put that type of money on the line, the bluff, and then into the chip leader, nonetheless, who called yeah, you twice. Yeah, but I mean, a... in the but the line, you know, it, it was a rainbow board, eight, nine, queen. You're saying I've got two pair. 
or I've got the nuts. Uh, you know, it's like, I don't know. I, I mean, I like it, but I also know once he calls a turn, when the three rolls off, <laughs> nothing changes. Like if, it, if any card on the river changed, like a queen game or even, a, you know, so many, I, I just felt like he was getting called. So he's given this up. He's given up. Sevens are good. This is a so nice check. Nice run out for sevens. You already, yeah, you know, it's going to go feel check, even check. better. No random 10 or jack or I'm sorry, 10 or king or ace or nine even or an eight. Just a clean, clean run out here. I think also Juan not three betting or shoving pre shows a testament to his. Excuse me. It shows a testament to his post flop. He feels very comfortable. He's looking to take variants down. He's not just like, all right, let me rip it in. And yeah. Take it down. No, Juan's played well. I think he's yeah. played. You no, know, I, I I think he's played well. I I, mean, I like the four point eight, like almost five x three bet. You know, a little bit shocked that he called the five x three bet king jack. And you know, maybe he was thinking, the uh, the guy's never five bet five x three betting with a real hand. You know, maybe that was his thought process. Like when, I, yeah. when I'm playing, I'm always dissecting. Like, okay, why would he five x three bet here? You know, he has a real hand. I'm in position; I could take it from him, but I don't know. He hasn't really been not like Juan is three bet Andrew a lot. Matter of fact, I think he's done it like twice. And do soft. I think it's a fold. Yep. Yeah. Well, so far, like everything I've watched, and this is good for me because I don't watch poker tournaments or is my thought process is almost identical. A um, couple other, a couple spots a little bit different but either line would have been fine yep king jack and a limp jack six suited definitely a hand that could get aggressive then it also does have yeah. some good playability post -clock liz, liz, is, liz has decided that gonna do a lot of limping a lot of trapping yeah, just pot control. There's that 13 mil stack, a big jump there. You can see the payouts lower left. It's all the way up to 945. So 215,000 jump between fourth and third, and just sort of a comfortable hand to. Yeah, to this check is this should go check check, pretty much. I mean, he has no ace in his hand. I, I think Liz should bet this. She has a lot of big, a lot of aces, but and he has also a lot of sevens, eights. I don't think Andrew's going to put a chip in this pot based on the way Liz has played her, her big hands. And now she made the nuts anyways of the king. I mean, yeah, I don't you guys know. played you, very confident. You're not against king-queen. Would have raised you yeah. up pre. No one yeah, I chips. mean, the king is good for sure. Do you check and maybe a seven bets? I think you bet. You don't want to show them that, yeah. I, you don't want to show them that you're limping king-jack. Yeah, Andrew just not going to go for anything there as Liz I, picks that I, up in second. And, and, and again, this again, this kind of lines up, you know, like, you know, like Phil always talks to you about like how he limp, limping, like kind of like freezes the aggressive player. I mean, they he's seen her limp some really big hands. And so it kind of freezes you, you know. Oh, that's interesting. So he limps the queen nine of clubs against ace ten. He's got to be thinking, wow, this guy's not limp one time, but he's going to raise it anyways. It's going to get called too. We're going to see a flop. Two, two real hands here, blind on blind. Just wondering, does he ever? No. Okay. This hand, he should. I think he's going to size up pretty big without a stiff bait in his hand here. 
Now, he, this is not a hand you want to. Really play. And he could go small and hope no spade rolls off. If he gets called. I think he's going to go a little bit bigger. Oh, he checked it. Wow. Ace 10, Queen 9. Queen 9 is drawing dead. Yeah, but there's four direction. spades on the board now. Yeah, for sure. Definitely definitely has a path. And like hand, checking but... that board, what hand are you checking after raising pre flop that has a spade in it? I mean, but this is just going to be check, check. And then probably call on the river. Yep, taking the time, thinking about merits to checking or betting, but is going to. Yeah, I mean, I, I could go. I think you could go either way. Depends if you think your uh, opponent would ever check a spade. Yeah, now, well, now you've. Now you're now you've, chop. Now you're chopping. That's actually that was that's one of the. the that's the reason so why I think maybe, you bet but... on the flop. I mean, pick up the. I don't know. I I I don't like the way one. I, I would play differently. I I would have sized big without a spade in my hand and protect my hand. Um, there's just so many cards that can roll off there to just kill your action. Yeah, this is now. This should get through. I mean, this should get through, and this is why I would have done opposite. And this is old school thinking versus new school thinking, really. I mean, I don't see any way that he get calls here. There's no way. He's just got to be sick to his stomach right now. Good sizing choice from Andy. Yeah, that's a good sizing. You now, check, 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 check. I mean, like, is he going, but is he really going this big with a big spade? Yeah, that was called call, ultimately on the up. chop here. Interesting play. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Uh, that whole hand was interesting. And and, and now Andrew's gonna know, like, okay, check top pair on the flop. You know, like, well, this could really get interesting. Ace, nine, king, queen, five handed. Four handed and king queen bigs. Four handed. Shortest, yeah. Yeah. This is a definitely a good spot. Uh, I think this is, this is, uh, this could be a jam. It's close. Could also be like a four million, 3.5 million, three bet. I mean, Andrew's, I think ace 10, he would, he's, he's, he's I, really I don't close. think, I think four hand, yeah, that's, I'm fine with that. I think four, this is, you know, this is, this is a, you know, 20 bigs, like what, you know, you, when you make it 20 bigs, you probably don't have ace king. Oh, call, yeah, call. very close. He is going to yeah, roll that, the that, dice. That, he that, is ahead. He yeah. is ahead in the king comes out all not. of a sudden. Not anymore going to need an ace or else it's going to tighten things up dramatically here four-handed. And it is a queen, two pair. That is $28 million. And now we have got ourselves a whole new situation, Mike. You might have to get a cup of coffee. We got four players playing for $1.5 million. Don't huge, worry, I got, my, I, got my, I got my Red Bull, buddy. Got my okay, Red. you're ready to rock. This is a new game now. Andrew has relinquished a big lead, still in the lead, and it is very tight. Everyone is 25 mil, 21, 25, 27, and 34. So we're playing I ain't going to lie to you, buddy. If I ever call off 20 bigs with ace nine offsuit, just put a gun in my head. <clears throat> That's old school thinking, you know? Hey, uh, and, like, Andrew took a game of small margins. He took it. He took the best hand. Yeah, didn't I mean, hold and, and... When, a guy, when a guy moves in, there are 20 bigs, right? We know it's, not, it's probably not ace king or ace king, right? It's a lot of big. It's a lot of nines, tens, okay? King, queen, like, king, queen, you're 54. Why would you take a 54%? Like, if it's king, queen, king, jack, jack, queen, it's, you know, you're, you're talking about 54, 40, 55, 45, right? I mean, like, I don't think there's any reason to take that small margin. You've got complete command of the table. And this is old school thinking versus new school thinking, like, I talk a lot of poker with Phil, and, and you know we talk about not taking the small margin. You know what I'm saying? 
But a lot of these guys, they, you know, like I, a chance says if you're not willing to take, if, if you're, if you always know you're flipping and you're not willing to take the flips, you're not going to win that many tournaments. I disagree. I think you could small ball your way to many wins, but um, I, I I understand his thought process. You know, well, this is an interesting flop. Seven rolls off. It's game set match for uh, one. Yeah, when, when he goes all in there, you know, Ace Nine has to feel like he's flipping or ahead, which he was. But are you really? Do you really want to? Twenty big blinds, and you have command of the table. You've. We, I have. We. Are, I have this old thought process, and I. And I, this is when I when I, when I teach a lot of people about when they ask me about turn poker stuff. It's like. When you have command of the table, like your chips are your arsenal, right? Do you really want to give up your chip position for a marginal spot? And he just gave up his chip position for a marginal spot. And I don't think that that, that is correct. Like a lot of the pros that are listening to me that right now, they're thinking, oh, oh, Mike's wrong. Well, maybe they are. But, you know, I guarantee there's plenty of pros that will think Mike's right. So, you know, you're you're. You, your chips are your weapons, right? Do you really like when you're giving up 20 big blinds and weapons when you have command? I mean, he could have just kept small ball on himself and just locked himself in the second. You're wow. talking about we're four handed, talking about is, 500k difference. Like, yeah, it's a big, that, it's a big, it's a big, it's a big call. It's a big call. Even if you're ahead, you're call. not going to be much it's ahead. A big it's going to be like that. This is a big river, by the way. This is seven three makes two pairs. I told you if a seven rolls off, this could be this could be a disaster. I mean, there is there is the flush out there though. I, I don't think this will be that big a pot. Andrew may just size up huge and just get called. Yeah, he could fucking. I think it's a big, I think he's gonna go big. I might, might go, go like four five, two x pot. He did. Four he mil. went. He went almost four two x pot. See, so, yeah, I mean, like I don't. I've never ran a solver or sim in my life, and and I, even I know that that what nice what. Hand, what nice boards pack. and what textures to go big on, you know? Very nice pot. And Andrew just gets back a lot of those chips. He's at 43 yeah. mil now. I mean, it's a really tight three-handed but for second, but it is a one-way stop there for Andrew. He's got that first place on his mind. He's still playing aggressive. 43 million. Does I mean, I, the king three. I mean, I think Andrew's made two two really big mistakes, um, or this thing would be over. I mean, the opening 40 big blinds. No, running in the Kings, I, I, I'm not tired. Even if I think the guy's got Jack Queen, I'm just not calling with Ace Nine for 20 bigs. Uh, not, not when you have such command of the table. I mean, he really has control of the, of the table or had control, and he still does. I mean, King Queen's got a raise here. Liz can't just keep limping these big hands. I guess, I guess she can. Uh, Andrew may actually shoot this up. I think this is one of those good ones. That the Absolutely. Big little, just uh, the, doesn't have a ton of playability. You got King High, yeah. also can be the best. So he does shoot it on up. And Liz is going to love to be calling here, although out of position, right? It's, it, it's out of position. Scary. King Queen is just, I mean, you got to limp three bet. I, now what do you, yeah. now you yeah, just, I think now this, you're is, just this is, you're right. This is where you get kind of bullied off. And obviously a yeah. king high flop or, you know, queen high, you may get some bets in. But now when you miss, you're just sort of like you're guessing. You're losing to so many hands, random hands. You could be against an ace high. You're just kind of weak ace high. You're just you're just annoying. Yeah, right? now you're just screwed. Now you just you light two million on fire. I, I don't I, I don't like the. I, I, I think you raise or limp limp three bet fold to a yep. four bet. You know, yeah, I like that line the best, but you know, Liz has been playing small ball, does call and wow. there's Still also called the king queen. That's yeah, a, now see. that literally shuts Andrew, should shut Andrew down. I mean, she's limp big so often. Wow, disconnect comes in, reconnecting 55 seconds on the reconnect. The drama, a little extra drama, playing for huge yeah, money, four handed. On. 730,000. Oh, no, it is one, it's almost, it's 1.6 almost million to first. Huge. So, like, difference. when I play and they disconnect, I'm I'm a very honorable person. Like, I will never take advantage. I will literally use all the time bank till they connect back up. I hope, I hope most of these people do the same. Um, yeah, but I've seen, 
generally good see people do different things. You know, I, I couldn't live with myself. Wow, look at this bet, Mike. Hello. Of course. 5. This is 8. what happens when you put yourself in the spot. Wow, just Andrew Wilson. It says reconnecting. He is reconnected, and he has done so with a powerful bet on the. You can't um, be it playing out of position, limping like king queens. Like I could see if you're limping big pairs against him, but limping, limping like. I mean, I just think that's a, if you're going to limp there, I think you got a limp raise, three bet, and if he calls, you just shut down. You know, or four bets, you just shut down. You know. Interesting. Like, like I said, Andrew's made two mistakes, and he's still got. Now he's back to two to one chip lead again. I mean, I definitely like that 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 size up there. I mean, he catches just the driest board in the world, gets called. I mean, it's just it's just a oh, it, you know, you got to go for it there. You're you got to take the line. You raise pre bet. You're you're repping. You're saying I got a big pair. You know, if you limp with a big pair. You're going to call me on the turn. I'm going to shut down on the river. So I like it. And we have a yeah. gutter against a nothing. Three, four, seven. Who was the razor five. the slop? Was a seven, it's, five the razor? I think it says limp, limp, then. Oh, yeah, back. limp, limp. Yeah. It looks like the limp pop. Yeah, seven, five's got the eight for the straight and three, this four should, debating. Uh, I'd be a little bit shocked. No, he did go small. He did take a half a pop better than this. That was very interesting. A little shocked there. It's really a zero zero. I think he might call here. The got thing the is, gutter. when you check back, he's got the, the gutter and the spade. The 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 range. Yeah. The, yeah. It's it's uh it also it favors the big blind check back range though. It's going to have some sort of marginally good hands, not the best or the worst. So this Jeff right. and six board I think does favor the big blind a bit, right? Just liking the board. Yeah. So it does take a shot, picks up a gut shot, seven now pairs. I mean, you you've watched so many of these, so you understand it a little bit more than I do. I I kind of like think you know how of board textures that in a limp limp pot there like. A lot of like seven, eights, eight, nines. And, uh, you know, they're probably going to call with a nine. I, I don't think three, four is going to continue here. I mean, you yeah. got showdown value. This should go check, check, I presume. But seven, five might turn his hand into a bluff, but it's already the best hand. I think seven, five is going to bet here when it goes check on the turn. Even though he's got the best hand, I definitely think he's going to bet here. I mean, this this favors him so much. Uh, yeah, he does. He gets some. So it is a spade. Now, it is a three of spades. I mean, now what? Does it, does it go he check? Beats, check. He yeah. beats. He beats some hands. Yeah. He does. Beat I, some I, I, I like. I like. I thought it was going to go check. Check, but. You know, well, the seven five might want to blow someone off of a nine, seven nine, eights here. Yeah, I think uh, eight's just too much hand to probably going to rip it. Seven hundred thousand bigs. That's twenty. That's twenty something bigs. Twenty. Twenty four yeah, bigs. Are you really ripping eights with twenty four bigs? He's definitely playing. I'll say that. I, I think it's it's very. I, I like the. I like that raise. He's yeah, committed. committed. He's, he's, that's, that's, yeah, that's that's way better. I like that raise because, like, you're saying I'm committed. You know. Yeah, it's a that's a nice nice pickup there. Seventeen million. Yeah, these blinds are going up a little bit faster. I'm used to so every basically twenty hands, so every five rounds, twenty hands on, on line is what probably thirty minutes. Ah, it goes pretty quick, especially shorter handed, right? Four handed, five handed, just kind of goes. Yeah, it's goes actually fast. probably probably less than thirty minutes. Yeah, there's a lot of rate. There's a lot of just takedowns, pre flop. This actually is going to go. This, this is, is definitely gonna, not this... fold from. This is going to be playing from one part of Dominguez. Just thinking if he's going to call or raise. Probably it's super close to call or raise. Oh, I mean, it's really close. I, I'd say Andrew's been so aggressive though. Yeah, he's been I, I, super I like the, aggressive. I like the call. This board is 
favors Juan, I think. But Andrew's probably going to bet this. I don't know. I might just give this up. But it's close. I don't know what he, Andrew's been pretty aggressive. If he bets it, he's betting it big. Or just feels like, yeah, he went full pot like I thought he would. Wow. Juan's really in a tough spot here. I mean, I don't know if he could call. I think it's like a all in or fold. Like, like, and then you, I think it's a fold. I don't know. You can't call. I mean, there's there's way too many bad cards that come off. If you think you're good, go all. I think it's a fold. I think he's going to get this through. And I thought Andrew was going to bet it big. Yeah. That's what I thought would happen. Crazy, crazy takedown. Andrew Wilson, ace, I jack like five it. off, has the gut like shot it. and just decided to put the yeah. pressure on at 48 million. Really putting pressure, not slowing down. He did lose the huge lead, but he's still in the lead. And he still is got the mm-hmm. hammer lock on the – he's got double second, as a matter of fact, which is just show, shows you how many chips he really had. It was like 150 the fact, plus The blinds fact that, that that thinking, like I'm thinking, I, I've, never, I've never ran a solver. I've never ran a sim in my life. And I said, I'm going big on this flop, with this jack five. I'm going to really put him in a tough spot. You know, and, and he did. It's like the A7 can't do anything. You know, the A7 could ask themselves, am I good, right? And if, he, if, if he's good, it's, it's all in. He can't call because there's any card that rolls off. It's just a disaster. So uh, I thought I was going to get through, and it did. Let's see if like Liz... Let's see if Liz can find another limp here. And if he does, he's going to get a big raise again from Andrew. I think, I think you got to limp. If you're going to be the king queens, you got to limp the jacks here. You really do. And then you get to just shoot it up. Oh, man. Steve, he's not. He's not. Come on, just, Brazilians. I love you. know, I'm, oh, man, you yeah, just you got to do it with that powerful it, of a hand. He's going to make it 2.4, and then you raise it. Yeah. Yeah, I would well, like Liz, to see that. Liz, Liz has raised her big pairs and just kind of – limp called out of position like i tell people all the time like you don't want to be playing the ace tens out of position the king queens out of position the king jacks out of position you know so you gotta if you gotta three bet them big or fold and and juan did three bet that ace ten big and andrew uh owned his soul well he picks up queens andrew finally decides to fold the button Oh, he limped the queen, so I like it. I like it a lot. I like the limp. See, this is what we were talking about, what Liz should have done a minute ago. And this board normally would would hit... Um, who's the person with the deuce four? I can't see the name. That's... Uh, who's the person with the deuce four, Jeff? That is uh, Decal. Decal. Yeah, Belarus he, got the air ball. Queen, scary board, but has the overpair to the board. Yeah, but Jack winner. would have bet the flop. I, I think he could definitely check call this turn. I, I, I don't think a bet does anything. Maybe you get on the bluff. He just doesn't have any. He's betting all Jack X's on the flop. Yeah, pretty pretty moderate board here. I mean, you you lose two two pairs. The this, this six, the Jack. But you are doing okay. I like to check. I think he could get us. Yeah, I think he's going to get the Queens. This is easy call here. I mean, Juan's are pretty unlucky with runouts, but I don't. I think this is just a, an easy call. Because he's yeah. Doesn't have a heart. A heart comes in. Let's see if. Yeah. Decal just was a one and done or takes another stab at it. We'll see. Four minutes, 40 seconds on one part of the Mingan shot clock. Everyone using a little more clock. 257 for Andrew. This is a, if this is a really, I mean, he could really put a big, put him in a big spot here with a big bet. Like showing like he has a six. I think he's going to give up. But, but I, bet I wouldn't mind. I, I don't know, man. He doesn't have any jacks. And the heart changes everything. Decal just doesn't have a jack, so like, does he have a six? And that's kind of what Juan has to figure out. 
the flush coming now he bets does he does he bet the flush what do you bet think he's gonna give up I really Honestly, do. yeah. One part of the Mingus may sniff this out if he bets as well, because it's sort of like, what is he repping? If he had a, you know, he doesn't have he a, a flush draw. Would he, he bet, bet a the flush turn? draw? He would have bet the flop. I think he's going right. to sniff it out too. Why I think, it's a, I think it's a check back. The flush draw. I think if he bets, he's getting called. He's got literally the worst possible hand you can have. Deuce four off. Literally yeah. the nut low. The nut low. low. A lot of time he's taken now too. I wow. mean, he's going to oh, I knew he was going to go big. Woo! Unloaded the clip. He snap folded, though, man. I, I think he... I don't know, man. Like, what? He's never checking a jack on, on the spot. Just never. He's going to take some stab at it. He's big never bet. checking a flush break. He's going to take some yeah, stab I don't know. Colin, though, that's a, it's asking a lot to call there. Yeah. It's asking a lot, Mike. There's a lot of money on the line. There's... There's like you just you lose you know what I mean you lose to some hands that are even you know unfortunately broken. that's the, the you know I like the the, the check the queen the I would have bet the queens the flop I I don't I'm old school I'm not checking the eight nine ten board you know and then here we go jacks don't limp now ace four does take down gets a good hand to fold shout out to Brijesh in the chat shout out to everyone let us know where you're watching from we got mike the mouth in the building the mouthpiece podcast he is here with us for this huge final table with 1.5 million plus up top everyone guaranteed 730,000 10k buying over 1100 runners we're going to play to a winner four left andrew wilson has led wire to wire it's getting a little tighter Right now, everyone's sort of Seven. getting getting closer, and we are gonna we are gonna see a winner today. We Seven's gonna, gonna jam twenty bigs here. Gonna raise for sure. A lot of friggin' a lot of bigs. I think he's gonna rip it. This is one, yeah. See, oh, like this, and, oh, he went. Small. I'll be honest. He went three X. One Pardo. He's, he's calling. Like to peel. Oh yeah, he's gonna peel. He's yeah, yeah. Chips. And they'd suit a lot of playability in position. Like 20 bigs there, it's like, I don't know. Whoa. Oh, well, that's a good flop. He's going to see that like super small and it's going to be over, but interesting. You could, there is a world where he checks. I mean, I think you're right. The better nah, play in my mind would be to bet. Get a so this, guy, this guy so ain't aggressive. three bet checked one time in his whole life. Yeah. He ain't sure. raised checked any board. I, I would have liked to see smaller, though, even. He went quarter. He should have yeah. gone like 900, 800. I, I mean, he, yeah. there is a world where Juan Peels here on the seven King King backdoor hearts, so 10 or 80 figures, probably good. I mean, he could float one here. He yeah. does, and he getting gonna get gonna get a tough card because this now, is not one now he's able to check go out it. Of the way. Now he's should, he should check it right, unless yeah. he thinks the guy is a king. But if the guy is a king, he's gonna bomb it. I kind of like check here. I think he should check. I mean, put him in the meat rack. Guys, that, yes, good check. That's how I. That's what I would have done. I think ten eight's gonna fucking bet here. He might even go for it, man. He might just jam it dead. Or will he check back now he's picked up a flush draw? I don't know. I have a feeling think, he might be I think he might be fucking going for this here. <laughs> I mean, you float to hit this card. You want to turn it Oh, ball. he's dead. Night Goodbye, night. game set now it's and match. Night night. We are down to three. Congrats we are to all the players. To three. This is dirty. He can do anything here. Either way, the money's gonna get in. Yeah, but if he bets seven million, he's just going to get all probably. That's true. That's true. That's I true. But I still think all in. I think that he's not. I think he's going to bet, and the guy's I think gonna, he's going to put them all in. There's only seven million though. Check, check. You think he just rips it now? Like I, I just he can't. What what he hand can rips call? it? You look like you got a fucking king. I don't. Know. He could he bet can small, check it. and he's going to he's going to bet small and get shoved. I think like three. Yeah, million. that's the right play. I like really it. Small. That's what I would have done. He's gonna, he's I, gonna get that's ripped definitely on. Definitely the right play. I mean, is there a world where Juan makes it like six or five five or a seven and then folds though? I don't know. Like this is such a bizarre run out yeah. where it's check check turn and just all this money is gonna start I just, going in. He ha I, 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 he's gonna raise it. There's no way he could fly here. I mean, no, he's definitely raising. The question is, does he get it all rip it or make it like seven and then can he fold when he gets shoved on? Oh, he could definitely fold when he gets shoved on. You're right. You can, Does but he give himself an extra bullet? This, 
Oh, he yeah, he just GG. Curtains. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Juan Pardo Dominguez. Well played by Andrew. Got the bet on the flop. Got floated. Check town and GG and Andrew, man, just put in a, a massive, massive moment. 60 million, 20 and 29. Kid is in his court. Great game. Juan Pardo going to add that impressive 17 million in GG earnings as we are three handed yeah. now. Wow. Yeah, it was, that's, you know, I, I go, I think about that hand. I think about what Chance Tech tweeted out a couple of weeks ago and said, if you're calling and the board comes so and so and you keep floating with the King Jack or the 10 nines and you wonder why you're losing, maybe you should quit doing that, you know? And I think, I think about that a lot because I, I talk to people like, oh, well, I got back doors here and this is always a float. But, you know, when you're playing for a lot of money, you know, sometimes maybe it's not a float, you know? So I, I, I mentioned Chance a lot because I think he's just a killer. I think he, he does so many good things. And, and, I, and I really, uh, I kind of, uh, it's a lot of advice I kind of take. I'm going to use the restroom very quickly, Mike, if you can. Sure. Keep up with the action force it. for a second. No problem. Thank you. All right. He raised a queen eight off. Ace, queen, jack. He got called. I think he's going to bet, but a check is fine. He checked. I like it. He just check called second pair. Check, check. I think Andrew's going to size up kind of small here. At 1.3 with a queen. Or he checked it again. All right. It's fine. Check. I think he knows the queen is good now. And uh, is he going to try and get value or is he going to check it? I mean, sixes with four pairing a jack here might call it a double check board if he bets like a million. Should be interesting to see what he does. Time clock down 38 seconds. Yeah, he bet about 1.5. It's kind of what I thought he was going to do. And six is my call here. I mean, he doesn't have an ace. He double checked it. He has a lot of jacks. Doesn't, you know, yeah, he folded. Okay, good. So I thought. This has been fun to watch. Queen nine, he's going to raise. And this hand's probably over. We'll go to the next hand. Yeah, it's good for me watching this and like thinking like I think and I'm pretty much how I think has basically been how this table's gone pretty much. I thought Liz should have limp re-raised a few times. Not called. She's gonna raise the King Nine of Diamonds here. This hand's right. over. 63. Andrew's chipping up, man. I, what's your thought on – give me your overall analysis of Andrew's game. Of course, a bit aggressive. He's played pretty well overall. Like, what do you, what been do you, what aggressive. Do you think? I mean, he, he, I, I think that – that. wow, look at that. He's getting all the hands. Like, the last four hands, he's had all the hands. You know? Liz might defend the king six here. I, I don't like it. I would fold it. That's what I'm, I'm old school. I don't like playing no king rag out of position. But she called. And this hand's over. She doesn't even have a spade. Unless he just like a great, great flop to check back. Especially with the ace of spade. I, I like to see he went super small. This shit is going to fold. But. I kind of would, wouldn't mind a check back there, but he, the thing is, is like, he, he really hasn't raised and checked back anything. Like he's seen bet a hundred percent. Yeah. So, uh, is she really going to limp the a seven? Wow. He's going to raise. Mm, nine, four suited similar to the Jack six. Suited. Matter. He, he raises stuff, every time. He didn't raise the jack six suited. Wow, he checked it this time. Uh -oh. and, and I'm the only thing I think he might have done there is because 
because, yeah, they're so even, the two stacks, and there's such a big jump, 945 to 1.225, but has some yeah. playability. Now we got ourselves a nice situation. Top pair versus open-ended over. Definitely money going to come in the middle here as the six pairs. Wow. Checks back top check, pair. Check. Look, at, look at Andrew showing a little little discipline, little little uh, little trap action. She's going to bet, and he's going to call. Oh, she checked it again. Well played. He's probably going to go big, right? A lot of bad cards. He might even check it back. No. Oh, he went small. Wow. Interesting. I would, that's a flaw. That's off. I would have gone big on this. You know. But he got one street out of her. Now it's going to go what? Check, check. I don't see why there was a nine. The bad nine going to go for value. Yeah, this, uh, it gets called gets called by some worse hands. The I mean, he looks, looks like she's that. on. It looked like Liz is on a draw, but I mean, she could have a six. She could have over pairs. She could have him beat. I think ninth check back. Oh, he went for full pot. This guy, he, he don't he don't give an inch. Having the seven of diamonds and the yeah, this is close to hero call, but you do block some of the hands that mm -hmm. you want to have them to have in the diamond as well. Could have what what hands he so. checking the flop and then betting turn and river? Right. Like if he wanted to bluff right. at him, he would have bet the flop. Yeah, I think these are the, when they, when you're bluff yeah. catching. These are the considerations you want to make, and there you go. That correct. Is, is, like like if sense. he bet flop, then turn, then river. I, I think it comes more of a possible hero call. All right, we're going to get the giveaway here in a second. The going to be keyword is GG Poker Mouth. So, like, then... my, my thought process is almost identical for on a few different spots. And, uh, and I, I think both the times that I bring it up, I think it could go either way. Uh, he has deuces here and limps. I'm surprised. Right, so Mike, how are we doing on our giveaway? On our on our thing, all of a sudden you're back in the lead. Sick. I was crushing you for a sec right now. I got 42 yeah. million in chips. You got 66. We're playing for a nice dinner out. The audience is playing for 50. If one of your players win, which is Andrew left, and mine 100. So that's what the audience is playing for. I also have the tweet on Jeff Crow's poker pin. That is a opportunity for a $50 cash giveaway. So two giveaways live. Good luck to everyone. Thank you for watching and let us know where you're watching from. And we are going to play to a winner and you can see the payouts. No deal five. available. Three left, 945 guaranteed from 10K. That's a nice, five, three nice ROI. Here comes a raise to probably 3X, right? 2.4, I would think. I mean, you got a 3X here. They're both even in chips. Yeah, that's what I thought. See, again, I it, it's they're the reason why I, it's important to me to think like, okay, I've never ran a solver or sim in my life. What would I do, right? Based on stacks and stuff. And so far, I mean, I think I've been almost identical. I think that nine four on the last one they bet three million. I mean, I, I just think you're only getting called by a hand that beats you. You know, I like I like this shove here. You know. Yeah, I mean, Andrew has found a way to go wire to wire at the final table. It got a little dicey for a second, but at the moment, $68 million. I mean, they're sitting there. The on. difference between second and third is three hundred k. Yep, two eighty. You no, know, I, I think he's supposed to be opening every single button in this point. I think yeah, he's going to get called here with the jack, jack seven. Jack seven suited. Is dominating. Eight hundred k. It's it's just a small amount i like the call and uh he flops gin again and this it's one is over flopped but more importantly yeah just missing i mean jack high was a nice over. it is going to be yeah. not much equity here just going to check fold yep andrew set himself up for a nice 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 finish here if he can keep whittling them down picking up 70 million can afford some aggression can yeah. clean yeah. I think I go a little bit bigger here. I might open about two million here on the button. Two point five. Oh, he went min. He folded anyways. Okay. Yeah, Andrew's not going to get involved with anything against him too. He's going to put the pressure on. That's about it. 
Uh, Liz is going to min raise. He's going to probably jam this. Shove, I think. Yeah. It's a shove the, with the equity differences. Just, it just is. He's and you're, you're not that big a dog if you get called. Too. On the chest clock is going to rip it. Yeah, in. he jammed. That was, it was obvious he was jamming. Nice pick up there. Yeah. And he just, oh, here's an interesting spot. Wow, this is one where we raise. may actually get to see. It might be a rip. He might get if, the fold. He might get the 23. If you're seconds. playing to win, if you're playing to win. No, he's not. He can't call for the 24 million with ace nine here. This yeah. is this is ICM suicide for that amount yeah. of money. He's not going to call it off. This is this is this is when you think it looks crazy when he's shoving. Right. This is the reason why you get the ace ten, the ace jack off the fold for B Cal. I, agree. B -Cal, I don't think he's going to fight. Now listen, Liz, yeah. ace nine suited there may say, hey, I'll roll the dice. I'm closing the action. I'm the shortest, but that is a Correct. massive with somebody issue. behind you. It's yep. just a fold. Yep. And you just, I mean, look at how much better position B Cal is. And you're talking about yeah. 280 grand to click fold there. You're just, yeah. you, that was like best case though. What, what you see? No, queen, he, 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 he's three. just going to, he could just jam at anything. He can now, now is where I don't mind the jam. You know what I'm saying? Before yeah, when it was seven hands, it was completely different. It's listen. Mike, it's higher variance, right? There is like the extra, like you're like, oh, why do that? You have him crushed, but you are just gonna work so often. And I mean, the thing is, can he take off a few hands? Yeah, well, like this here is jamming just a, would be a fold. Like, the, yeah, nice. Yeah. So he's not just shoving any two. He Correct. does have some plan. That's 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 solid. That would have been a punt. I mean, this is probably a. I would I wouldn't even mind limping these jacks here, but she's not. Liz is not an aggressive player, so I guess you do have to open. Oh, oh my God! Yikes. This could flip. Game. Flop. This is a yeah. disaster. This is a disaster for Jax. I mean, you just can't put him on the queen. They call the raise queen queen out there. It looks like the nuts. I mean, but if he Jax. bets and gets called, like I mean, he could probably get away. No. At the same time, it's sort of weird, right? Because it's like sevens or eights or something would just shove. Uh, it just kind of it's just like hard to believe they really have a queen. But mm, maybe there's a world. Well, that's a great out. card for decal. I, I, I think now he can get away. But listen, Mike, the same token when he raises pre, what ace X are not shoving? With right. your okay. with that yeah, stack. but he called, so, he, so he called the flop. I mean, it just has a lot of queens there. Yeah. I mean, what are you floating with? You know? Yeah. And definitely like he raised pre flop. You know, maybe he has like the ace seven off or something. I, I, I don't know. I think that. He's gonna, I think he's going to get away. I think it's going to be checked. I'm just saying the ace I don't think is a relevant yeah. card. Yeah, no, no, I get it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's not irrelevant. It definitely makes you pause. It's a cause to pause, I, but it's – Would you ever check? I think you're more the queen. the queen. The queen, although it's unlikely, that that's when you get called in the flop. I mean, listen, there's spade draws. He's going to have a lot of spade combo draws. He could have a 6X somehow. Yeah. It's possible, I, I, like – a, you know, I don't know. Like, I think it's definitely check, not an easy I, spot. No, I think a check here by Liz is fine because it looks like, but he looks like he has the aces, so I would bet. Yeah, I like it. I would have bet too. He has a lot of ace axes, and if he doesn't believe she has a queen, uh, then, then, then he he would call. But he it, also it has allows a spade him. in his hand. He has a spade in his hand. That's a little less likely spade draws. I mean, this is definitely this yeah. is a bizarre hand. If you're if you don't want to believe your B Cal is such a huge hand, blind on blind, three handed, your jacks, the queen queen six flop with spades. You're feeling good, but now you definitely this action is making you a little concerned. Yeah, I think he's gonna get away. I really do. Because he has the all, ace isn't really the he has all really the ace exits. Right, and now she goes a little less than half pot, like targeting an ace. I think he gets away. I really do. I mean, I he think could he call will the not, turn. He's not going to. He's not going to double up. Least no. Here. Does he's he lose two point six million more? Yeah, that's the question. I think he gets away. I think he's really played. Honestly, for the guy with the small set, I really like the way decals played the final tip. But I, I haven't seen any mistakes. I think he gets away. I really do. Because she, it looks like he's got a big ace, and she went a little less than half pot. You know? It just looks like he's got an ace, and he checked it. Yeah. Good, good, good fold. 
Well, nice, 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 nice. And I'll tell you what's also nice though for for uh wow, this is it right here. We're gonna see a big all in here. It's gonna is he just gonna limp again or is he gonna come out raising? It's gonna get shoved on though, whatever happens or, or pushed up. And this is actually interesting because both players have the same stack right now. Might just yeah. jam. Liz might jam. Liz just is supposed to jam. Not wanting to get in a weird icy situation, but does yeah. jam in sixes. Andrew's going to snap it off. Be ahead. Big moment. 33 million in the middle. Sixes to ace jack. It is clean wow. so far for sixes. It is a Andrew turn runs so clean. Pure. Can Andrew fade the river and take us to heads up? Yes. Yep. Makes the straight just in case. GG, ace jack, unlucky. And Andrew Wilson, ladies and gentlemen, massive lead and is going to be heads up there for a big payday. Both players guaranteed seven figures remaining. We're going to play for $353,000, Mike. That is a that is a normal first prize on the GG Millions. This is big. So, like, she jammed for $16 million for 20 bits, right? Um, he has 90, yeah, it's, it's just a call. Even, you know, you're flipping when she's jammed. So you just take, yeah, could have ace five suited, could have fours, but yeah, I mean, you're, 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 you're feeling good. You don't think you're shoving like nines or you're plus, almost but. sure you're flipping and, and 16 million ain't going to hurt you. Like it did when he kind of, when he ripped those against in those Kings earlier. Yep. Well, both players, you can see their player profiles spread out on the left and right of the screen. Both 18 players... million is still 25 big blinds. 25 big blinds is plenty. And we will see the shot clock potentially come into play. 45 seconds, that chess clock there for Andrew using some. Do they ever get a new profile. clock or no? No, that's for you get 15 minutes for the entire time. And look at this, just goes for all of it with the 5 4. Andrew Wilson, we're going to choose a winner here soon. This could be over any moment. I mean, it. We have that fifty or hundred dollar giveaway, and is looking like a fifty. Does he ever fold? Would... He's just gonna jam the say say, right? Uh, maybe two point eight. I don't know if he needs to jam it, but yeah, twenty. What's he got? Twenty bigs. Yeah, probably twenty. Make it two point eight or all. Yeah, in. I thought so. Seventeen point eight million. Queen five off eight. Do you know the computer hand, right? You know heads up, Mike. The dead of middling no limit hand. I don't want to have to quiz you. No. Yeah. You do know, right? Yeah. Which is? What's up? What the dead middling hand, the computer hand. What's the name? Queen the seven. Name? Queen, there he queen is. seven. There, all right, you're dialed in. I got. I don't want to go old school. I know you know all the nicknames, but yeah, I just got to make sure on your game today, Mike. Yeah, well, I'm pretty locked in here. It's fun to watch, actually. This has been great. This is we're playing again for three hundred fifty-three. I'm sorry, is that math off? 360. Does King 5 ever raise here? He does, huh? Yeah, it gets the fold. 90 million to 20 million. A lot the of poker left. The thing is, 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 is Andrew played a certain way the whole time. Foot on the gas. He's never limped a big hand, right? Where Liz limped a lot of big hands. And when you've never limped a big hand, every time he limps the button, I mean, you can raise really pretty much because you never limped a big hand once. This may get shoved, and, and then okay, interesting. And, and actually, has played king nine now. Andrew gonna 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 leverage that. You can see the aggression. Why it's so important to be have some aggressive maneuvers. I mean, here's a perfect example: same yeah. hand in position, and now Andrew's gonna be able to win. I this. mean, this is this is just a. I don't see this. Is, this has to be a fold, right? It is King high. King it is heads up aggressive player. He could peel one in the heart. Wow. Now. Wow. wow. He, he could definitely turn this into fucking a bluff. Andrew may not let, let him, though. He may. Yeah, man, Andrew may might just, just jam it. May just keep the pressure on. Okay. Oh, he check. checked it. All right. Well, they both have the same hand, and, and Decal's going to win this. No doubt in my mind. He's in a bet at least half pot. It's checked too. He's got to be curious. I mean, he's got to be like, he checked it, huh? Wow. Interesting. Does Andrew take the, does he go ahead and rip it? I don't know. He might have checked the trap. I mean, it looks like he has, he has all the aces. Like, like he might have just flat him bad ace and then just checked back. Yeah, he gave up. Interesting. He gave up. Now his decal turned his hand into a bluff. 
think he does. Don't you think? I wasn't no, sure. What I did, as yeah. played, it seemed like a, a reasonable line to just check back. But yeah, both players, I think both thought they were against maybe an ace, right? It just looked kind of like yeah. everyone had something. So check, no harm, no foul, same hand, shows it down. Still 19 million to 90 million. So four and a half to one lead. For I don't know, man. If I'm going to float the king nine, the yeah, heart's going to come heart. off. I'm fucking going to bet it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not floating a check it back. I mean... Why would you float that flop if you're not going to do anything? Fair question. It's fair. It's very fair. Yeah. I think you're. Think you're. Wow! Look at this flop for six, seven o'clock. <laughs> the open end straight and the flush draw versus the gutter. Gutter. Fifteen seconds call. on that shot clock. Oh yeah, he's down to fifteen seconds. I thought the gutter would call. Wow! Gutter peels six high, no good. Seven high, good. Seven high, open end straight flush. 14, 13, uh, 12 King's seconds. A pretty on the good clock. Car. I think I think Yandra's going all. He might just yeah. He's gonna he's gonna put pressure. I think for sure. Oh my the lord! Ball. He hit the gutter um, seven. Wow! Offsuit seven, six seven suit makes a pair and doesn't go for the aggressive maneuver when he's been so aggressive. I would have. I told you I would have gone for it on the turn. The king is a great card. But, you and know, you Andrew. Plenty, and you have plenty of value. If you go for it and get called, you still got an open end straight in a flush draw. Really, really crazy here. Oh, he checked he goes, it to him here. I, I kind of, oh, no, he bet it. He bet, He's bet just going to win. There's, you know, he just beats nothing. Get called on the flop. It's just nothing. Good man. fold. Good fold. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a seven. A lot, I, lot I'm, so I'd have gone for it on the turn. King comes. I mean, like, I, I just would have gone for it. I, I, got, I got 15 outs, but I get called. <laughs> yeah, that was a yeah. one hand that definitely different. Raise queen six call. He outflops him again, and he almost has to bet small on this board. This is just like too good a flop board to see bet. Oh, he checked. He just he checked it. Hit a seven. And just really got nice complete board the coverage. Queen six. He's got top pair open ended versus yeah complete board pair. coverage. Oh, he big. went. And this is he went over problem. one. Yeah, problematic for decal. Check back and hits the seven. I mean, man, I think he's gonna have to look uh, him up one. I mean, what? What? He has a six seven bluff. Six. He has some six, six x bluffs. Nine ten. Six x bluff. Uh, I don't know if he could. It's call a huge him. price. It's a big price because you got to be right, and then you got to hold, and you got to hope. Maybe I think it's a stuff. fold. I think it's a fold. I'm shocked that he goes that big here. Yeah, I wouldn't have. You have complete Queen. board coverage on a check, check board. I would have gone small. Well, it's just a, He's it's got three seconds on the clock. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, bails him out in a way with that size. He got the I, seven. I, I think that when you have board coverage on a check, check board, like like if you go like one million, like the seven's going to call there. And you've really got the hand pretty locked. Interesting, oh, though, limped. that sizing did look weak, though, to me. You know, you see uh, this? He so... limped He limped the, the king-queen. See this one? That's the first time I've seen him limp a big hand today. Decal may, may spring on that. Remember, and remember we were just talking about how he's never limped big, so you can almost raise every time he limps? Well, this mm -hmm. is the first time he limped big, which is pretty pretty good to see. He's got two seconds left on his chest clock. Just a reminder, if that does hit out, he will have five seconds to act every street, which likely oh. will hit zero. You see that, Mike? Two seconds. Yes, yes. Drop so that, 50, that could 100. come into effect. It does It does make it more difficult, no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, when does the clock start after how many seconds? You get, I believe, five seconds, and then you have five wow. seconds. So they'll be now no, this, after that. This could come into play. He's got to act very, very fast now. Like you basically have five seconds to make a decision on your hand. Yeah, yeah. Andrews really played well today. I think uh, Decal also to get second. He was short, I believe. Let's take a look at the the show notes before he was in. Yeah, he's middle of the uh, pack. I mean, he's, he's had some hands, and I think. I mean, I really, I think that, I think that Decal. I really think he's played the best. I mean, I think he hasn't. He hasn't. Uh, I, I like the way Decal's. Played. Uh, I mean, Andrews played well. You know, he won the big flip, sixes versus ace jack. Thought he made the mistake with the Kings. Thought he made uh, the one other mistake, you know. Uh, but, like, he's also was the chip leader, and he's caught, he's caught a lot of hands, too, you know. 
And he's officially at zeros on the clock. So you can see now five seconds to act every street and 50, one minute 50 for decal eight, eight, eight. And then he just a jam. Up. Does pick it up. Yeah, I like three. I like the raise non jam though. You get some worse hands in. You got at some point you're out. You know you want to let yeah yeah, yeah you got to try and get one some, over. Some King six suited call it. you. I like that. You may you let some hands come in. Do seven off. Does check back makes. Oh two my pair god, this could be pair. it. This is definitely an issue. For our friend Decal. Oh, he gets bailed out. <laughs> wow. I mean, the seven is going to have to call here, right? Check, check, flop. Yeah, I mean, they can chop a lot of cards. Yeah, he bet a million. He's got to call a million for sure. Nine X plus. There it is. Wow. And then he gets a chop card on the river. Unless he this just was goes. A, this was all the all the emotion. I mean, ahead, I think he's going to bet. Behind, I, think this, I think he's going to bet big here. Ahead, chop in. I think he's going to bet big with the king there. Now he went 22.5 and got snapped. That's what I thought would happen. Yeah. That's why I think, well, going that sizing, he's, you're going to get always get called. The queen 10. It's just going to raise. Oh, he's limping. All of a sudden, yeah, Andrew's so playing. All of a sudden, Andrew changed his, his game into small ball here. He just decided he's going to limp and see if he, he can let the guy hang himself. I, I like, I love that he's changed the style uh, where he had not limped any higher range hands at all. And now he's, he's, he's limping a lot. I mean, you, you've got the, you, you've got five to one chip lead. You don't want to put him in a, you just don't want to put him in a spot where he could get back in the match. So I think the limping is, is, that's a correct strategy. Yep. I think he'll limp again here. Yeah. I, I really I think the limping against this guy is the correct strategy. I mean, he's just really out flopping every hand, too. I mean, does he call here with a yeah, I thought it was gonna be a call with the backdoor diamonds. And now it's just gonna be a fold. <laughs> yeah. I think he's supposed to call here. I would have called with the King Five of Diamonds there. Yeah, Andrew four Wilson. diamonds king. 94 million. It's got the ace going to rip this in the weak ace, 15 blinds. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's going to rip this. So he's got 95 to 15, 95 to 16, and decal. He really is seven. running cold. I mean, I mean, he knew that the other guys had way more hands. Yeah, like Andrew's heads up game, he realizes off the stack depth to minimize I, his four I do too. Too. I love the adjustment he made instead of, you know, he went, he went old school, limping, limping. You, know, like, you remember when Phil used to always talk about limping, and they're like, oh, you're stupid. You should never limp. Now they're all limping. It's so funny. You know, but Phil over limps. That's his biggest problem. You know, if Phil would just learn two things, but he, I don't want to say it, but because, like, goes viral, Phil. Why are you saying shit? But, like, I helped Phil learn all the mixed games. He made seven final tables in seven different games, right? But now... Like, if I want to give him any Nolan and Holden advice, why do you think you're better than me and Nolan and Holden? Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear no advice from you. It's like, do you think I'm trying to hurt you? Because yeah, I do believe that Phil fixed a few things on his game and Nolan and Holden, I think he could, could, could compete with the higher end. Well, Phil's got the most World Series of poker bracelets ever. Phil's got a lot of – he knows what he's doing. He definitely is a, a well aware, too. He's always a student of the game looking to improve, learn, and discuss poker. I know you guys talk a lot of poker, yeah. and that was a nice bluff catch there. Up to $100 million. Yeah. Andrew Wilson, this is a 10, 10 to 1, one chip lead. lead. And now wow. he decides to, to attack the he gets the, He gets an extra – does he – now he gets an extra $3 million. Oh, he just called. Oh, my goodness. He just calls – Sets the trap actually and almost could have really worked against double. him, but now now I he's guess getting, he might get the double. He's gonna get the full double. He might just call here for two million. No, that shows way too much fucking strength by calling here. But he did. He's well, gonna get the he, full double. I mean, like now he, he can get away here for five. The, he can five get away, outs. even though he's getting like two to one. Nah. He's gonna get away. Yeah, six million still. Is he gonna check the ace check? No, 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 no. No, no. way. What? Oh, he did. What the? What he is did. happening right now, Mike? What? How can you check there? On yes, that your whole tournament's on the line. Where you're calling all rivers. That's. 
I, I guess this is crazy though. This is like calling a, all rivers. That's why. Back. Uh, I'm just shocked. This is the easiest fold ever. Is it? This, that was a that was that was a lot of hand right there. That was a lot. That was a lot of hand. That was a lot of hand. That was a lot of different. <laughs> people are are out here getting doing crazy crazy lines for a title for the GG Million 1.588 to first 363,000. I'm sorry, dude. My my tournament's on the line there. I'm just gonna put it in. I mean, he might call with a five there. Like he's getting the right price to probably call with a five, Super right? Close. 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 Eating some hands too, yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised on the non shove, the ace jack suited pre flop, but hey, we're uh, seeing an interesting match today, and here we go. Seven on the river. He's got the worst hand. Does he take a little, little, nah, little stab at this it? This is going to be, this should, oh, look at this, the double check. And I just watched how he played ace jack. I don't think he could call four, it. Four, three, two, go! Oh! We raised! Re-raise, <laughs> not calling. Like them. we are seeing, they are keeping us guessing out here. This is some some absolute. I can't. I don't poker. see. The, I just don't see the fucking. I can't believe wow. that he fucking raised them. That was Street gangster. Poker. Street poker going on, and ten million to back to a ten to one lead. Can Andrew close it out? King ten, the taxi jack eight off here with limp again. King Ten probably go all in. He's limped. Uh, wow, he he's going to go on. He's getting this called. could be for the title right now. He is going to call. Luck. This is it. Good luck him. has been called. Twenty-five million in the middle for two the one, title. Two to one favorite. Jack eight. King Ten. Ten and an eight. Let's see the run out. The turn is clean. Can he double, or are we going to see a champion crown? Eighty-eight percent, and that is a double, Mike. We are going to continue to play eighty-six so, to twenty-five. I, I wow. Don't, I, I don't. I don't think. Oh, it's a million-dollar blind. Ten bigs. I I, I I don't know. You're limping, you're limping, you're limping, and now you go crazy with Jack 8. Uh-oh, set against an open-ender. The money's going in again. It is three spades. It is three spades. Oh, it is three so spades, yeah. He see. might just call, just call here. I didn't see the three wow. spades. Quads, oh, four deuces. quads. The second quads of the final table, Artur made quad nines at a short stack just, earlier. Do you just check this back in position? Let hope he hits a jack, a ten, a offsuit seven, or a queen. I mean, because of the board at the three spades, I or do you, you bet, bet small? small. You bet one point two. I think you, you bet something. small. You want to try? I, bet, to I think you bet small. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Him, and he gets another him. double. Wow. I don't know. The spades are on the board. Yeah, this and a full house possible. Would, of, but he might quads. just overbet. He might yeah, just he fucking might. put them all in. Oh, right. he checked Checks. it. Yeah, I guess he's gonna go big, for like five million. Or just oh no, he went I'll super get, small to get. He might get raised. Might get raised. He's for actually. sure getting yeah. raised. Yeah, you're right. I mean, they're yeah, nine million. He's gonna what end if he up rips doubling it? him again. Oh my I goodness! Told you. Oh my goodness! He is gonna get the double after now all. Now we have plays to match it. even. This is crazy swing. Sixty to fifty million. We have a sixty fifty BB, and now aces to king deuce. Let's and, see if he's and, got the. And, and now I just don't. I mean, I get it there. You know, but why not? I don't know. I make it like six million I, I, and then fold and jam. I, I, I mean, this all. Now, this is a hand with aces. I mean, do you just. Yeah, you have to bet super small, like 800,000 million. Oh, he checked. I was going to say, check or a small bet. I go small bet. I think a check looks way too strong on a 339 board. You know? Oh, I mean, he can get... attack, man. He's gonna. He's got the king deuce. He's got king high. You're right. Looks strong. Zero time bank. And now they're player 121. We are. We might get to see a zero zero time bank matchup. He is gonna bet now. King deuce. Gonna decide what to do and does get out of the way. So no money picked up there. And we. I got think every hundred hands, somebody should get an extra minute back. You know, I think it's. You don't want five second decision on every hand. It's just kind of when you're playing for this kind of money. Nines to uh, I mean, like, I think off. Andrew really, really made a mistake. Um, like the Jack A's, I, I don't like he was small balling with like so well, so well, you know what I mean? Like, he was just chopping him down, chopping him down. Yeah, it was just sort of on that cutoff of just enough. Yeah, on the like, three you know, space like... board, when he bets the turn, like, what is he calling a jam with? Like, well, it was three spades I, and a board pair as and well, a board which actually pair. came into play. I mean, I would like to see, like, you bet $2 million, 
at like 5.7. You know, now the other guy comes back. I mean, it's just then, then it's like, you really, you know, well, you just always beat. Instead, he loses. I, I would have lost 5.7. He lost 24. Yeah, decal thinking about some thin value. It would be pretty thin. But it is nines on a 10-3. Nines, four, six, the, way the, board, the, the way the betting went here, I think it's a bet. I'd be betting here. Betting about $4 million, $3 million. Oh, he went big. He went seven and a half. He's not getting called seven and a half. He has he's all the five sixes. He's, he's got, got a hard in the pair. Wow. Oh, my goodness. goodness. Mike, he is just decided this is to why send you it said, in Jerome. You said thin value. Wow, is he gonna? He's gonna. He might use a better, a better part of this minute and think about it here, man. This is on the line. He clicks call. He's gonna be close to a champion if he does it. He'll have eight million left, and the tables will turn. I don't, he's got a what, key card. What hand here. is got, he really? The way the betting went, is he double checking turn and with checking a flush third? draw? I think he's sort of saying he doesn't have a flush. He doesn't think he can have a flush uh, how he plays. And now it's like he has nines. He blocks the straight for nines. He has a heart. Uh, this this is, would be this savage. Is a, this, this, he's this use is a the crazy. Whole time back. I think when you bet, you have to consider you're getting check raised by this player, though. So I think he, there's. I think he's like flipping a coin to call or not. But this would be a I crazy agree. hand. This is a crazy hand. Three hundred and sixty-three really k on the line. Both players shot clock winding down. Yeah. This it is looks wild. Like the, I, I think I he's going to call. I think he's going to call. He he's going to call. He I knew he was calling. This is an epic, the line epic made no hand. Sense. Wow. Wow, nine point. He said this was a crazy hand. Andrew Wilson now like is it. on the ropes. I am. I, announce- you heard me say I'm. I'm value. I wouldn't have gone big. I would have gone a little bit smaller, you know. But I mean, nines just have to be good there. Listen, fourteen I'm seconds honest, to zero. I think the be- guy who's played the best at this final table today is the one who's going to win. I mean, I thought Decal's been the best player. I. Wow. I think Andrew has got was sloppy in many many a spots. You know, he he did keep the pressure on and got that stack up. You know, but if he doesn't win the flip sixes against Ace Jack, things are all different. You know, I wow. thought I think Decal's really played well. Wow, really? and there, look at that. Even exercising the ten six off, raising the limp, getting the better hand to fold, is, and now well, he lifts the Jack here, huh? I mean, we might see a zero zero time match up here. Although Andrew Wilson looks like he's ready to fire it in, as this is a crazy moment. Ten to one chip seconds. lead, complete control of the match, and decided he was going to jam the Jack eight, and um. Ah, he was playing so I love the adjustment he made by limping every hand. You know, I was a little bit and then and then he <laughs> then like one time then he has picks up the Jack Eight and Jams. I mean he was so successful at small balling pro slot. Yeah. You know. I, I thought he was getting called there times. I really did. I really did. I mean, like, what are you repping? You're never ch- double checking a ten. Right, so you might call here with Queen High, man. He's, I mean, it, it, it's sort of like it. I, wow, I don't all right. Think so. There's no, he's got, he's got him on the ropes now. He's got him down the 13 bigs. There's no reason to make a mistake now. I mean, this is crazy. They are literally both five seconds and zero seconds, Mike. We're getting the full swing of events here. It has been a complete 180 decal in the lead. Although Andrew, he's fighting. He's fighting. He's not going to roll over. 15. Decal ain't going to make a mistake. Uh oh. He might just jam and get called here by King High. Andrew may just say, "This is enough. I've seen enough. I've got the King Seven on the dice." What are the? What are the? What? What are the? uh... The, the odds here, King Seven versus Ace folded. It's like 60 40, maybe 57 43. It's really tight. Yeah, yeah. that's it's what not, I not, not much given there. As we are, we I want to see the 0 0 shot clock matchup. Maybe one other Have time. Have you seen 0 0 shot clock? I've before? seen it, I believe, one time. One time. I've definitely seen zeros hit on one player, but I don't know. I, I definitely zero. think Andrew like, like is supposed to be just limping with the 0 0 shot clock. Like, well, I thought he was playing perfect. Uh oh. This is uh, an all-in. 
10 blinds yeah. going to fold 12 mil to 96 mil. That is a few. And we are going to, I just announcing the winner, the Twitter is out as well. Jeff gross poker pin tweet. You guys can get in on that $50 cash. And then today, Mike and I, man, the dinner, it's looking good for me. All of a sudden dinner, sure man, I'm gonna, we're going to go somewhere nice. And at the WSOP nice, this buddy. summer, we're, it's nice not over state. though. Either way, either way, let's see what happens. It's been fun. This has been a great final table today. Appreciate everyone watching. Appreciate your time today. Mike. I mean, this and, is always a check yeah. call here, right? And then, See if Andrew it's, can be brave with no equity bluff on the turn. Is he going to double barrel it? Four seconds, three seconds. He does. That should yeah, do that's it. That's a fold now. I like the call him flop. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of. That's a lot of chutzpah, though. Three. That's a lot two, of chutzpah. One. Wow, both players on zero shot clock, Mike. We officially have 0-0 chess clock matchup for playing for 363K in a GG Million title today. A big one at that. Money on the table. You can see the results spread out on the right and left. Both players have over Good luck. He called him with the king And this is four, a king huh? four suited versus the king nine. And now this is a favorite diamond, to end diamond, it. king four. nine. Oh, my God, he hit diamond. Wow, he's got the what? diamond or the river can it be it's the a seven, seven but that's a straight nine to the other king nine straight. is gonna do it that is it the gg wow. gg out there d kalajer if i'm getting that one right that is a quite a performance from belarus he, he has got himself he was the best player he was the best player jeff million unbelievable he was the best player i think he deserved it i thought he wow. played really well i didn't see looking at the whole cards looking at the flock he didn't make a mistake I didn't see a mistake, did you? Yeah, he I came from middle of the pack, played an excellent game plan. He hung in. He really, really delivered. And at the end, he found the moment. He made a massive bet call with nines on the 10 high there on the river. Possible flush. Other hands beat him. And really, that was the hand of the tournament. You, I, I'm you, so impressed. You, you said, is he going to go for value here? And I said he absolutely has to. And a lot of times when you go for value, you've got to be willing to call it off. I mean, that's that's. In the old days, I remember when people used to go for this thin value, right? And then they wouldn't, and then they'd get raised and they'd fold. You know, nowadays, when you go for that value, yeah. you know, and you think you're, you, you're doing your bank, you think you're good, you know, you got to be willing to call it off. And I thought he was going to call, you thought he was going to call, and he called. Wow. That, that was, was a, that was amazing. That was honestly that was a lot an amazing of fun to table. Huge money. Huge day. Mike Mouth, again, the Mouthpiece Podcast. You guys can give him a follow. Check out with him at the WSOP. He'll be around and very friendly. I always say hi to Mike in the hallways. We'll be going to dinner there. I announced the winner, $100 giveaway. And, of course, Jeff Gross Poker on Twitter, $50 pin tweet. That's still available for you guys to go and uh, follow along for that. And, Mike, thank you so much. We'll be back next week for yeah, the GG Millions. You know, I, I, and I appreciate the invite. You know, watching this, look, knowing how I play, how I size up, I mean, I – I don't need a solver or a sim to tell me anything. I, I really thought I saw everything that, how I would have sized up pretty much the whole thing. And you know, when you, even that big hand, when you said, is he going to go for value in the ninth? I would have gone smaller but when he went bigger. I mean, the guy, he went for it. I, I thought he was going to get called. That was really the hand, you know, he bluffed oh, it I off. Love it. I, I love it too. I love it. Yeah. That was, that was a lot of fun, man. I appreciate the time. And everyone, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week on the GG Millions. You got to beat the best. As always, that's what we got to see today. The best in the world, biggest prizes, and a big guest. Appreciate it very much, Mike. We'll see you soon. You got it, my see man. See you, everyone. Take care. Bye.